1K. I know, Sick. it was 7 earlier on. Oh, that's... It makes me so angry, I just have to jiggle in my seat. <laughs> right. I'm waiting for you to go live, apparently. So Yeah, it's always the same on uh, uh, YouTube. It's always like 15 seconds after everything else. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Or am I? No worries. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Thank you, guys. I do appreciate all the, the patience and the stuff for, you know... Sorry, Ben. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to get so... Mitch to sing. Normally it works. <laughs> what? I'm confused. You do like to sing, Mitch. You do like to I, sing. I, I do. I love a good sing song. Uh, well, last time we were playing you... Atex, every single time I said Critical Role, you start singing. <laughs> oh, oh, like critical, critical. Okay. Right. Let's go. I was zoned out. Um, but anyway. So. Welcome, everybody. Back to Call of Cthulhu, the Curse of St. Craythorn, case one. So, everything is going just fine. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> last time, <laughs> nothing to see the here. Future files. The investigators um, went to the funeral of Mr. Bobby Quirk's grandfather, Robert Quirk. And all in all, it was a well, it, it was a it was a lovely ceremony, and they took stock of what they had experienced so far this week. Put it aside to witness, uh, be bear witness to, and be with Bobby in a time where he needed friends. But uh, following the funeral, the group continued their investigation, and uh, well, Hartwell noticed someone leave out the back of the church hooded and he followed them into the woods she had great legs <laughs> before he was jumped the rest of the investigators not realizing he had disappeared continued on their investigations uh, a couple of people fell into a hole um we will we'll glaze over that a little bit but uh they finally noticed that Hartwell had gone missing, and, well, they found the site of the attack, and uh, there was nothing to be seen of Hartwell. Literally. Quite literally. <laughs> uh, I'm allowed to Hartwell... make jokes, Mage, not you. <laughs> Hartwell awoke <laughs> inside, entombed in a mausoleum. Deep, dark, and possibly hidden forever, but with... Certain guile, he had survived the attack and uh, rang the bell for safety, it's spooking a load of no, uh, a load of locals. Uh, but uh, it got the attention of the party, and they managed to get him out. Not that they could see him. And then, following that, uh, a bizarre set of occurrences took place. Uh, the invisibility of Hartwell being one, the re-invisibility of anything he touched, including parts of people, uh, and then the awareness of a deer-headed figure within the tombs, who then began to lead the group out of the uh, cemetery. Which is when Borgvard Gunderson decided to pick up the head of one of the deer-headed figures from the skeleton and subsequently went blind. So we join our group where we left off in the center of, well, the bottom of Church Street with Lady Bexley in front of them, seemingly able to see Hartwell. So, investigators. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Hang on a tick. What are we doing? Oh, well, I'm going to pipe up. So. Lady you're, Bexley... not, you're not in the hands. No, I'm right of. behind him. <laughs> so, you're, you're behind. So, yeah. I will say, is there anything that the people that Hartwell, with Hartwell and the people he's got grabbed want to do? That was um, yeah. uh, Sheffield and... Because you have literally just walked into Lady Bexley being stood 
next to by this uh, deer-headed man. Um, and she's gone to Hartwell. Uh, my, my god. Uh, Forrest, what, what on earth's happened to you? We still can't think... see the creature, right? You can't no, see the creature. No. no. Okay. Maddie, two things. One, how can you see me? And two, do you see the deer-headed guy next to you? Yes, I see the deer-headed gentleman next... Uh, maybe not here. Uh, no, looking around, now! She's like, I'm invisible, and the only way that, 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 that Artemis here actually knows I'm here is the fact that I'm forcibly holding her hand. I'm sorry about that, dear. However... Yes, I know, but... <laughs> and yeah, Bobby's. You're holding Bobby's, too. Why, Bobby why, you, why are you Bobby's apologizing nice. to the deer-headed man? We we are in the middle of the street. Um, yeah, I'm aware of that. Don't really care. Invisible. <laughs> Can we move this to Baxley Hall? Precisely, Mr. Comignet, uh is speaking the truth here. Everybody, get inside a car. Um, a car, just a car, any well, car. Either my car or whatever car you came here. Uh, in. I'm gonna go in and like and, and hand her bulk by the, like, This gentleman has uh, tried to take this, uh, tried to take a skull and has lost his vision. Um, ah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to go walk down to grab my to get my uh, car from. Okay, oh, so I'm you're a, getting your I'm car. A walk, you will, I'm going to walk, keep walking with you. Yes. Miss <coughs> Artemis, may I uh, escort you to Bexley Hall? <laughs> that way, the girl is I'm not letting go of your hand. You're the only person I can hold on to right now. <laughs> Bobby is also he holding says, on. Holding no, on no, he isn't. I'm going to let well. go. <laughs> Too late. Okay. <laughs> Be right. Be right back, folks. Two seconds. <sighs> This, this better be for a cat. Mm. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> He's still dancing. Is that is this what's happening? He's taken his headphones off, right? So like we all know something that Midge doesn't know. <laughs> Quick, everyone, you you want a speculation? <laughs> all right, we gotta take a ninety degree turn on the plot right now. We have to decide where we're going. Um, all... no, 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 we're no, all no. giving up our lives. That's zero degrees turn from where we're going right now. Okay, okay, we, all, we, all, we all go to the train. <laughs> we all go to the train station. Get the first train out to London. Just get the fuck out. <laughs> London no, is too plan, close. Plan, plan. We start our own circus. Yes. We have an invisible man. We do. But we don't travel. We, the do. UK. we travel somewhere exotic where they've got all their Scotland. Concerts. Exotic, <laughs> exotic. Exotic Scotland. It's the least exotic place there is. I mean, France is still in the rebuild, so that's going to be going out. To this where we, London. You know, where the thistles blow in the breeze. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. I don't and know. France. Larger cows roam the roam the still in the rebuild phase. I don't think we have a hot air. We have a we a skip hot air France balloon. completely. We, go we go to Norway. Uh, That's fine. And France is not on the way to Norway, but yes, we'll go to Norway. Yeah, we said no, no, no. we're skipping we France. Yeah, it's just North the quickest way to the mainland, basically. Yeah. We still stay in Norway for about fifteen years, and then we miraculously think this might be a bad place to be and jump ship again. <laughs> yeah. Canada. I love it. Yes. Oh yes, I like that. Okay. Stay with shush, the cold. Shush, shush, shush. Okay, okay, Midge. We we're going plan. to the train station. We have to go to where my airship is docked. <laughs> Okay. We're, leaving. <laughs> we're leaving and we're starting a circus with featuring the Invisible Man. In Norway. In Norway. In Norway. In Norway. <laughs> we'll okay, so, um, go to the train station and uh, catch up. That's it. We're done. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Um, is it the Far Cry ending? Where you just sit at the table? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it only took us like seven live streams to get there. <laughs> well, this is number nine, I think, so... Uh... It's session nine, yeah. Yeah. I missed a couple. Yes, very true. Right. So, I'm guessing you'll return to Bexley Hall then, yes? Yeah. Ah, okay. And, um, what about they... this figure? Hmm. Does he need a seat? Can he... As we're <laughs> getting in the car, I'm just so going to watch as... this bit. Uh, he just as you he just arrive back. at Bexley Hall, okay. You notice that the figure is already there, stood at the as you pass it on the, as as your car passes the gate of Bexley Hall. You see him stood, well, next to the other deer-headed man at the gate. Um, 
And he stood there staring at the vehicles. What, the statue? He stood next to the statuette, yes. Right. Uh -huh. um, and he he looks at the... he He's focused less on Hartwell's car now, but more on the car with the Borkvard in it, uh, mm -hmm. with a slight... Well, I don't know if you guys could understand the facial expressions of a deer, but... Um, yeah, he's, he's, I there's have some a there. I have a query. Yes. How blind am I? Am I legally blind or am I black? Um, you are completely and utterly stone cold, can't see one thing. Strangely, thing. it's not black that you see. You see just red. Deep, I was going to say, like, your eyes red. got kind of burned, right? Yeah. Can I see, well, like, if I, if I were looking in the direction... <laughs> What, could could I see the deer folk, or is it nothing? Strangely, yes. You can see the outline of the deer man. That's what but I that's wanted the, to know! That's the only thing you see. <laughs> All right, I'm eye-fucking him on the way past. <laughs> With <laughs> eyes, you try to eye-fuck the gentleman, and... Uh, your eye the is this is how you're using your charm in this campaign? Give, give me a charm. Give me a charm, bro. <laughs> 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 Oh, the DM man eyes. have no eyes either, as well. Or an appearance, bro. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I think technically, well, I've already an passed intimidate a roll if there is one. I've, I've already the... passed a charm check today, and I'm better okay, at appearance. Go for an intimidate roll then. <laughs> oh, no, he said Wait, are you taking appearance off the table? But well, you you yes. you've got very red eyes right now. It's not all the uh, You said you got an eye fucking, so you know that's kind of aggressive. Yeah, that's more. Yeah. I thought that that's like when you're flirting with someone. No, that's something very different. And no, that's, that's eye fucking is. No, I fuck is when you're just you're making eye contact with someone in a flirty way, like you're just watching them. I'm having the <laughs> the impression that I've embarrassed myself with words at some point in the past. <laughs> oh no, I. Uh, if Good that's really then just you para, possibly. Embarrass yourself with words? Oh no. <laughs> Do that all the time, don't worry. <laughs> that doesn't um, sound right at all. Yeah, give me an intimidate roll. What bud? 92. From what you can tell without eyes, you really gave that uh that dear uh, good eye fucking. Uh gotcha. but you know <laughs> I taught him who's boss. And no so eyes. we just see <laughs> blind bulk buds, like you know, just kinda like <laughs> looking looking in the wrong direction. Okay. So you like staring out the window. <laughs> Lady Bexley drives her car around the back of the building, um, not to the front. She drives. She drives in and then around the building and gets out. And um, she explains. Okay, Hartwell, uh, hurry inside. Try not to let any of the serving staff see you. Uh, oh, oh, very uh, flipping funny. <laughs> 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 Bad choice of words, but um. The other two, uh, you might want to let go of him for now, just so he can get in without erasing too much suspicion, okay? Yes, because the Invisible Man is very suspicious. <laughs> Maddie, you're really well, taking this the wrong way. <laughs> well, there's a lot of explaining I need to do, and uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's probably best that not everybody in the bloody town is alerted to it, okay? What, that they can't <laughs> see me? Yes, that'd be great. Yes. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Um, cool. cool. <laughs> Sorry, cool. I slipped into myself then. I do apologize. Cool. Um, Wait, was cool a word cool. in the twenties? I don't think so. Not until like the fifties. It is rather cold, it's isn't it? Fifties American. Uh -huh. mm. Mm. Okay. He's very can we we can all see the deer man now. No. 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 Wow. No. Uh, no. There that, we go. That, this is that's uh, how I, I see it going. Can, Borkvard can see the silhouette of a deer man, and Hartwell can see the deer man, and Lady Bexley can see the deer man. Uh, you folks are still as clueless as clueless can be, right? And then right. I would like to turn on expect. Lady Bexley and say, but what about this deer-faced fellow? You'll have to be more specific, dear. What is about he, him? Is he well, well, by any chance? Sorry, I mean, there are a lot of Mr. questions. Quirk. We should start simple. Okay. Can someone well... direct me to a chair? <laughs> let, let let us all go. Um, let let us all go into. Uh... 
let us all sit in. I'm trying to look at the room. Uh, let all, let's all go into the smoking room. I'll draw, draw the curtains. We'll have a discussion in there, okay? Why would you draw the curtains? Because <laughs> it's. <laughs> trying eyes. She's Do, artistic. Yeah. Do they have blinds in this time period? No, they have curtains. Well, they've got we've got bolt bar. Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Ah, you're now disabled. <laughs> <laughs> I was disabled before. Double, double disabled. Oh, double the payout. Oh wait, it doesn't work. <laughs> Not in this day and age. You're just a liability. <laughs> I mean. I mean, that's part of the course. <laughs> okay. So, you all gather round into the smoking room. Lady Bexley goes ahead and draws the curtains <coughs> and locks the smoking room door. Is there, there any other way out? On the Can door. We... Laddie! There is no Could other you let way me out in with you, windows. please? So, okay. Are they? She are they unlocks the one and lets you in, but she could see you, so she knows that you're in there. Oh, well. um... You left me like this. It's your fault. I've had a whole week to think about what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> Artemis, don't go sleep tonight. <laughs> oh, God. oh my God. That's not okay. No, no, no. no. Take, you take that back, sir. You take that back. <laughs> right now. Oh, Beyonce is yeah, watching, goodness. I'm pretty sure. Uh, what? What was the... Brushing you from harder now? Artemis doesn't know shit, mate. I'm <laughs> blushing. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> she sits you all down in the smoking room. And, well, that's uh, it for Call of Cthulhu for today. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> ah. And um, Lady Bexley turns to you all after pulling herself a large drink. Um, of, uh, she's poured herself a scotch. Uh, well, I understand you all might have. A fair number of questions. Um, Putting it mildly. Quite. And, uh, she, well, I'm happy to answer what I know, but, uh, so, go ahead. And um, she puts down her drink and goes over to one of the bookcases, seemingly looking for something. The deer-headed individuals that, well, at least individual that you seem to notice or be aware of, who dash what is it? Well, he is a um, was a uh, a member of Saint Crayfall. Um, he lived in the area. You may have already come across his uh, final resting place. Yes, we've met in yeah. several manners of speaking. Maxwell. Yes, that's it. I'd like I to ask. I don't know. Uh, would the Bexley estate once have been the Maxwell estate? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Hmm. I don't want to ask a very obvious question here, but why was his head a D? Why? Why? Why would antlers? <laughs> I mean. Do okay. we know if this is Reverend or Doctor? When we opened up the tombs. Which was the older one? Reverend. Reverend was the older one? It was yeah. Reverend and his son, Doctor. Yeah, the son was the Doctor, yeah. So I, well, think, you... I think I popped off the Reverend's head then. Yeah. Well, okay. if, if you give me a moment, uh, you might be able to ask him that yourself. Ask him. Um, <laughs> ah, and you see her pull out a large sort of binder and then put it aside and put her arm through the bookcase on the wall there's a lever and indeed there is a lever and you just hear a shh as where there was a um 
in the side there was like a one of the drawing desks with a push up um top of the cabinet that top of the cabinet actually comes down and there's a number of more books in there mm. Mm. Uh, she begins to walk over to that uh that desk and so uh, what's going on bookshelf. i just hear some noises <laughs> somebody has a secret bookcase and Behind she a grabs one bookcase. of the books I'm aching to take a look at those books. Can we? Can I see if there's any titles? No, just from a distance. Okay, from a distance. Yeah, give me a spot hidden. Can I too, please? I. I, I, I see books. Yeah. Uh, me too. I, I <laughs> would like to spot hidden as well. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, right. Bogvard, feel free to give a spot hidden. I don't have my glasses on. Oh shit, that's the wrong one. Uh, spot hidden, never mind. I will roll the dice all the same. Where is spot hidden? Oh, there. <laughs> I'm sorry, if we could use library use, Ball I would just... Yeah. You don't see anything because there is a deer figure standing right in front of you. <clears throat> oh, so like, if I, if I, so, so I, the way I see this is like, I'm in a chair and I kind of like turn towards the noise and he's just like, whoop! <laughs> <laughs> Well, more well, of your there. right now, um, but if you look up, there is just a deer head looking down if, at you, and all you see if, is the silhouette. If I reach out, what happens? You want to try and touch him? Yeah. Okay. Uh, as you reach towards like, it not, more not and more... Not on the face, like, shoulder... Which, which arm are you... Which arm are you um, God damn it! Fine, fine! <laughs> no, 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 I'm just asking, because you can reach out for the same... But um, basically, as you go toward, towards it with your hand, your hand gets hotter... And hotter, and hotter. Like, like, what's in the what's what's the proximity? Like, like, how close am I before it's like I feel like it's going to hurt? You know, like a candle. Like you're you go too close to a candle. Probably similar to a candle. It's not really, really going to hurt unless you're touching it. Like this. So, yeah. so you're are you uh, going to try and touch it? Uh, ah! Okay. <laughs> uh, if you're touching it, I need you to give me a power roll. Power. Oh my god. Is that a, a P-O-W, yeah. We all just oh. see Borgfart, like, blindly <laughs> reaching out. <laughs> yes, you do. Oh. Oh. Hard. Okay. Amazingly, you do manage to fight off... Is it like a force it... field or just heat? Like, is it trying to push back? So, well, it, yeah, now that you think of it, and more that now that you've kind of overcome it, it was heat, but also resistance, and resistance, and resistance, and then you touch it, and the, the, the dear man disappeared. He left? For, he left your vision. How do... 360. Okay. You don't see him currently. <laughs> you don't see hmm. anything. <laughs> so what you guys... What you guys saw was like... <laughs> What's the... <laughs> <laughs> what the crazy are we can pass it doing now? <laughs> Okay, um, but yes, to those who had a look at the book. These things got a quick um, release, I forgot about that. Hartwell, you're the one that actually got a success on that. Yay, None of I the binds of the books have um, any titles or anything. A lot of them look very old. Um, some of them worn, some of them in better condition. And she goes for one that seems to have um, a somewhat uh, old leather-bound texture to it. And it is in a deep, deep red color. Um, and then she goes back over to the bookcase, closes the lever, um, closes the thing. So that then, shoo, and it shoots back up and shuts. Can I do one more spot hidden roll? On See. what? Uh, or wait, that should be an intelligence check probably to figure out which book she used to uh, uncover the lever. I was hoping I would just remember that, but yeah, if that's a thing. I mean, it's just happened. You don't quite need to remember where that was hidden. She hasn't covered the leather back up yet. The, the, oh, okay, the lever. okay, so the lever. The lever's still there. Lever. just going to commit that to memory too. No, I, I, it's just that I want to memorize where it where it was. That's why. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I, don't, I don't know what to roll for that. Um, should be too hard right now. Um. Mm -hmm. Would you make us roll an intelligence later, maybe, if we tried to find it again? It depends how far in the future. Okay. Fair enough. So say if we did it like two days, probably not, but in like several years, maybe. Yeah. 
And uh, she she puts the book down on um, like one. She drags over on the side tables, puts the book down, and starts sifting through some of the pages, uh, looking for something. Well, you're all being awfully quiet. Um, I would think you'd have more questions by now, Cartwell included. Well, I have you've... several, but if you want to start explaining, maybe that's a start because. Still We've seen a lot of shit, and a lot of things do not make sense, and a lot of things seem to be connected. Hogvard, what are you doing? I think he's still around somewhere. I can't see him anymore, but I know. Hartwell? Uh, no, he's not. No. no, no, no. Wait, can, and speaking of which, do I see an outline of Hartwell? Give me a spot hidden. Hmm. Like, like the same kind of like shimmer or something? <laughs> oh! I go more blind. <laughs> no, uh, Borgvard, as you're walking around trying to see if you can find Hartwell, uh, you stand up and fall and unconscious. I'm, I'm gonna need you to roll. <laughs> wow! Give me a dexterity oh, check. No. Oh, that's like that's, that's almost that's my second worst stat. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. no, no. He makes okay, it. That's so, your second worst stat? Fucking hell. So you feel yourself going, and you put your arms out to stop yourself, um, and you go boom, and you feel cold. And you think, maybe if you hadn't have put your arms out, you might um, have just gone through a window. Everyone else, you notice Borkvar trip and go sh tumbling straight towards the wi window, but be able to correct himself. Wouldn't, um, he, wouldn't he be tangled up in the curtains now, then? <laughs> Uh, yes, yes, I, yeah, 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 yeah. There's curtains in the way, but uh, like he he went straight for the gap, sort of thing, and um, pushed himself through. But he's yeah, he's got he's got curtains right, I'm, around him. I'm getting up, I'm getting up <laughs> by the shoulder, lead, leading him back to a chair. Please just sit down for a moment. I thought I was sitting until someone told me I was walking. <laughs> well, just... Lady Bexley continues. Well, uh, hmm, outright explaining is a bit difficult uh, I, I don't know I don't know how much you all know and um it's okay, let's start with the invisibility I... and go from there we right, know nothing um, about it basically apart from very basic mechanics previous members of the town seem to be figures with animal tendencies well yes there's that one um okay, uh well, the the invisibility thing, well, I mean, in any time before now, you probably would have just laughed, but uh, I, I believe Hartwell to be under the effects of a spell. Right. Understood. Is it the kind that can be undone? Well, Miss Artemis, uh, you uh, raise... A fantastic point, and that is what I'm looking to do right now. If so, we're lucky, said... oh. if we're lucky, it will be written somewhere in here. You said we could ask Maxwell ourselves, but how? Well, I'm going to try and bring him to this realm for a short amount of time. And so, you've mentioned he's under the effects of some spells, is that... Can you also use them? If that's the right term? Well, I suppose anyone can use spells if they know the words and, uh... have studied enough, I guess. That is a lot of pages she's turning. I mean, it's <laughs> yep. a big, big book. She's not even looking at the book, she's just turning the pages. <laughs> this is a tome about this thick. This is a yeah. hefty tome. Uh, like, when, we... when, you wouldn't have seen this book, Bob, but you, the rest of you noticed that when she carried it, it had some weight to it. Like, she felt the weight <laughs> of this book. And it's old, My, it's my dusty. hearing has already been increased due to the lack of my sight. Oh, yeah. Are we talking witchcraft, druidry? What are we talking about? I suppose all of the above. It's all had different aims throughout everything. Do you have anything in there for restoring eyesight? There's something wrong with my peepers. There's another thing. The disappearing eyes on the deer, on Charlotte. Well, that I'm not at all. Uh, 
I'm not at all sure on what that is. It does sound peculiar, and uh, but I assure you, it, it it's not the same disappearing eyes. She looks a bored guard. Um, uh, spe speaking friend... of uh, the topic, um, are they one to keep grudges? Who? Maxwell and his prodigy. Well, um, the Maxwell in the room is uh, Dr. Maxwell. Um, his oh. father. It's his son. This is the son, yes. So the son has the... So I tried to touch the, the father. Hmm? No, you tried to touch the son. Mm. Okay. And how open Head is the son. Oh. Feet is the father. And how I, The way you say question. that makes it kind of sound like some kind of <laughs> riddle. <laughs> we are um, open to questioning is this And this I Maxwell. succeeded in touching him. Thank you very much. Well, let's see. And then... Okay. Lady Bexley stands up with the book in hand, and you see her go for her neck and pull out a necklace. Uh, you notice that hidden sort of in the uh, lower crop of her top, shall we say, uh, her bosom, she pulls basically. out a large uh, medallion, and she holds the medallion as she begins to speak this language that I don't think any of you will have heard. Uh, Is it actually, Welsh? Willem. Willem, you might have seen some of this, so give me, mm -hmm. uh, give me a um, Cthulhu. It's Dutch. No one can understand it. <laughs> That's not true. All the Dutch can understand it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not quite. No, we don't recognize it. But um, this weird semi-guttural um, verberation starts. I'm sure it's not Welsh. This sounds <laughs> very well. <laughs> <laughs> starts um it's weird it starts off sounding like lady bexley and then begins to have this extended resonance to it and it begets it, it begets slightly louder and more reverberation around the room and then all of you can i including hartwell and borgvard can you please give me a appearance no. Uh, give me a power roll, please. Power. Oh, come on. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. come on! Okay. I succeeded Both a roll. And Byron. Both of you. Roll a d4. Oh, no. That's good because I can't afford to lose any more oh, health. Oh come on! <laughs> Both even, okay. Um, while you begin to feel the room change, you don't necessarily see it, but you do notice that all of your well, Borgvard less so, uh, but Byron, <laughs> you do you do notice that sense. all of your friends go into sort of a fixated state. And everyone is kind of frozen in place, except the rest of you, except for you. Yeah. Borgvard, though, you do now notice the returned deer figure in the center of the room in your vision. I stand um, up and look at him. Yeah, you look at him. Um, the rest of you, you see Borgvard stand up and point to this figure, and as that happens, well, Hartwell, you could. You, you you did see him before, but now the rest of you, you see in the center of this room a long blue cloaked man in very thick uh, woolen robes uh, with, with, a, uh, with a large belt around his center and the head of a deer stood in the center of the room. She's a witch! And... Hold Please don't call my friend a witch. At least until she's not made me go visible again. <laughs> no, no, no. What you need is a witch. Exactly. So... The medallion she's wearing and holding out, is there any specific signal on it Hold that we can on. recognize? Hold on. 
Okay. No, me. The deer man. Although his mouth doesn't move, all of you that can see him hear his voice. And you hear, I believe you have some questions for me. You could say that again. <laughs> Why am I invisible? Good question. You are under the effects of a spell. I got that bit from earlier on. <laughs> How does he I... not become invisible? What was... Well, there is two ways that... Hartwell, was it? Mm-hmm. There is two ways that Mr. Hartwell will return fully to your realm. Actually, one of them is time. Right. The effects of this spell haven't been correctly noted. And after a while, he should return. Five minutes, five years, five decades. Ah. Uh, of that, I am unclear. However, we could try a reversal. But it would require something of, well, many of you. And what would that be, pray tell? Well, you'd all need to learn the spell and find the original spell that we can write the reversal. Well, the spell came from your tomb. Did it? No, who had it? Of oh, that, you are the... incorrect. Whoever cast the spell might have done it in the tomb. Or done it outside the tomb and then put me or, in there. Or, yeah, or elsewhere and brought his <laughs> limp. Or smacked me in the face with a wooden board and then put me in there. Do you know who attacked him? Of that lady, I do not. I had been. Well, I had been resting until the tomb was opened. Sorry. <laughs> No matter. It seems you. I mean, that was me. Help. They were doing it to get me out. No, I do not know who performed the magic on you. Okay, he's he's wearing robes, right? Yes. Do they look like the robes that the other were wearing? Which one? Oh, the, how many of us saw them? You haven't seen them. Seen I know I pictures. haven't, but but they the robes that were described to by Byron. In for which time? In the picture. The picture, yeah. The picture that was shown to us by Stephen, Simon, Stuart, whatever his name was. Stephen. <laughs> That's what. Okay. Mr. Bell. Well, because Byron can't currently see the robe man to confirm. Whoa. So, oh, right. Okay. Would, would anyone who has witnessed the photo like to try and remember the photo? Okay. Or, or <laughs> maybe Hartwell could just remember the people that he followed in, in you know, if if the lady uh, was wearing it. Why do you think I was so angry about, about, about fucking up my role for that? <laughs> <laughs> because it's conjecture, and I, I, I'm... I want to know, but it's too. Oh, Lord Forest for Hartwell. To say anything. Yeah, <laughs> you oh, do remember this, and in fact, let me send you a handout. Yeah. Uh, also, can you roll a sanity check for me? Thank you. Yeah, very much. Is... Yes. <laughs> I haven't got enough problems right now. This is this is the less fun part of that, but you know. Oh. <laughs> okay. You take. Well, you're already looking at him. You take one point of sanity damage, considering you're looking at one of the members of this photo. Um, essentially. Um, but yes, now that you remember it, you will see in your handouts photo one. Um, there was a figure in blue robes, but uh, the head was covered. But the antlers did stick out. Hmm. Yes, they did. I thought it was a tree behind us. 
originally, yes. But now that you've gone back and thought about it, you're like, oh. Okay, so <laughs> let me go straight. In the picture we saw, there was you with your antlers, obviously, which we thought was a tree behind you, just not being nasty or anything, just pointing out that. Wasn't there a person with, like, a snake tail as well? That's no snake. That's a space station. Ah. Sorry, <laughs> wrong universe. That person will, for now, rena remain unnamed. I do not want to reveal to you all more than needs to be known. Oh. If I get up... Okay. But by snake, you might mean tentacle. Ah! Tentacle. <laughs> oh, Excellent. Okay. Awesome. If, if I, I get up and walk towards him... Can I roll a click on that? Does he see um, Just in case. So, Bogvard, you try to walk towards them, and as you walk towards them, everything begins to stop and slow down, and you find yourself unable to move. Byron, you see Bogvard get up, sort of walk and then, like, vibrate as he moves towards these people and then gets stuck just vibrating. Oh, at this point, I'm probably just, like, looking for the books, but, you know, but... Because <laughs> otherwise I'm just sitting oh, watching a bunch great. of... I, I will come back to that one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, suspicion confirmed. Um... Oh, but if you could ask the person with the antlers any question in the world, what would it be? <sighs> well, I think I can't. You right now. Well, I can't. Uh, <laughs> Um, so you've um, exited the tomb before? On occasions, madame, I have. It's Do you know actually. anything about the missing girls? Well, now missing girl, because we found one body. I am as unclued to that. And the deer we've, I encountered on... Sunday evening? Describe to me this deer. Very malnourished, missing its eyes, had daisies between its antlers, and very dead on the road because a car crashed into it. You see... The deer man's head turned to Maddie, and Maddie kind of knowingly sort of just nods. I do not know why. Well, I should say that is nothing of my doing. Not necessarily your doing, but you are sure you don't know anything about that? Do you want me to Eats roll? His chip. <laughs> um, Do you yeah, want I'm me to roll to un... persuade yeah. or give me a Huh. Yeah, give me a persuade and I'm looking for a hard. Oh god. Oh, okay. No, I'm gonna push that. One point oh. of luck. You you're gonna spend luck or push it? Uh no, I'm I'm just gonna spend one point of luck to push it to a hard. Okay. Yeah. Don't say push, because push is a different thing. Yeah, 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 sorry. No, I'm, I'm going to spend one point of luck on that. Okay, yep, no worries. I would assume that that is related to whomever put the spell on Mr. Hartwell here, Mr. Compagnier. That is as vague as you can get it, right? That is as much as I am willing to tell you. Don't push him, Willem. Don't push him. <laughs> Who lets you out of the tombs? Friends, normally. On this occasion, yourselves. Sorry about that. <laughs> again, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what about your father? Unfortunately, my father's spell ran off a long time ago. The 
the same um, magic protected his tomb, but uh, it was less necessary to keep his essence. So, possibly quite an impertinent question, but what's with the animal parts for body? Huh. You hear a chuckle, but you don't see him move still. So this is all quite disconcerting because all of these replies is just coming with a stare. Mm -hmm. But this is the first time he doesn't look at any of you and you all hear him. Um, like properly, like you, normally he directs everything to someone uh, and and you hear it, but this is the first time he's, he's done it and looked away. So you hear him chuckle. And he just looks back up at you, Willem, and he goes, it is a gift. Hello, I have a question. Yes, Mr. Quirk. Is it not? Yeah, Bobby. Oh. Pleasure so, to meet you, Bobby. Likewise. So, I uh, had the pleasure to see this photograph that Hartwell previously mentioned. Um, is is there some sort of quirk with the camera or is the person permitted ha huh. <laughs> you mean Mr. Bell yes Mr. Bell Mr. Bell understands to take photos he doesn't exactly know the effects of his photos, but his photos exist nonetheless. You could say we commissioned them. I see. And is there any sort of special adaptation to the cameras, or is it just a trick of the light, shall we say? A trick of the light it is. So a camera could pick you up? If I'm in the right frame? Yes. Ha! Huh. Pun. <laughs> He's a funny man. <laughs> <laughs> a funny man. Is a there funny man. anything else? Yes. Um... I've seen my deceased grandfather on a couple of occasions now, and I believe our friend Captain Byron may have also seen a former Bexley, or even that long deceased Bexley. Hmm. Do you trust me? I suppose. The dear man then sort of just, for the rest of you, you see him sort of just stare at Bobby, but Bobby, you're suddenly blown out of your own body. And I'm mm -hmm. going to need everyone else to take off their headphones. Oh, for God's <laughs> sake! <laughs> didn't even fucking roll for it. <sighs> so. I'll just, I'll just say it feels good being on this side for once. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bobby. Hello. The dear gentleman, as I'm going to keep referring to him as, he begins to walk around you. Uh, but you now see everyone in the room including yourself and you've blown yourself out of yourself essentially uh you're uh, the best way to describe this would be an outer body experience to the max you mm -hmm. are having an outer body experience and he begins to walk around you and he says there are many worlds past this one as there are many stars in the sky 
What you might be seeing might be fragments. Essences, remnants, memories. Those might be affecting you in different ways. With the right power and the right prowess, you might learn something. And then, he takes your hand, and you see that he has a hand, but it's very brown and slightly hairy, almost like deer fur. And then he grasps, and grasps your hand. You're viewing this from above yourself. This is mm -hmm. what you're seeing him do to your body. And he sort of rubs his hands together like this over your hand, and you now feel a burning in your hand in your out-of-body form, and you look down at your spectral form, and there is a symbol on your hand. On and I... Spirit hand. On your spirit hand. Okay. As well as uh, your real hand. Mr. Bobby's Ooh. quirk. With this a symbol appearing, you feel you know a bit more about this world. And I'm going to give you 25 points in Cthulhu Missiles. And with that, you see the burning, and then you begin to feel a suction and a pull, and it gets, and your and your spectral form just gets pulled straight back to your own body, and you see everyone around you again. So, everyone that is in this <laughs> realm with the Deer Man, what you've just seen is the Deer Man walk over to Bobby and then grasp his hand. And Bobby go very faint for a moment and then back in the room. And then when the Deer Man removes his grip over the hand, you now see a symbol on Bobby's hand. Oh. And he walks away. So, Madison, the spell to uh, fix your friend. I believe the answers will be in the diary. Now, if you excuse me, and then he claps, and you all fall to the ground. But before we go on to that, Byron. What is it you wanted to do with the books? I'm just generally looking for them, you know. Oh, oh just the, the ones that are out? You're not going to try and get into the secret? No, I'm just looking okay. for them. No looking worries, you've been looking for your books. And yeah. Bulk Guard, you are frozen, and you get thrown to the ground with everybody else. Byron, you turn around, everyone is flat on their ass, uh, as if they've just been thrown down by something. I just sort of, like, closed what I was looking at. Oh, how was it? <laughs> Everybody, you are back in the room together. Hi, I assume the deer man's gone. Waking up on my app. Yes, oh. you can no longer see the deer man, nor can you, Hartwell. Damn it! What about me? Well, bud, you cannot see the deer man either. Can we see Hart? No, we can't see Hartwell yet. Nope. But we can see Madison Bexley. Yes. Not it. This is can, we, weird. can we see a symbol on Bobby's hand? <laughs> you can see yeah, I was just gonna. On Bobby's hand. I'm just gonna be rubbing my hand. At the moment, just looking. Bobby, are you okay? What is that? What on earth happened? Uh, Would I recognize the symbol at all? No stranger than you. Well, thought. now that, uh, well, give me a Cthulhu Mythos roll, but even so, I will tell Bobby what this is. Um, well, yes, I know. you do know what this is. You both know what this is. This is something known as the Elder Sign. <sighs> oh, great. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Your hand's now signed by Cthulhu. Um, uh, I will get uh, an image of what it looks like. And that is not where an autograph <laughs> is supposed to go. Um, the elder when you're a groupie, side, it is. Which, well, which, hand, which hand is it on? It's on your left, sir. On my left hand, on my burnt hand. <laughs> yes, it's, it, it, it's kind of... It looks like a darker area of the burns. Mm -hmm. It's like burns within the burn. If that makes sense. Yeah. So you've got the sort of the pinkish, dis discolored sort of burn color and the scar tissue. And then in that, there's it's almost like it's 
been embossed in. <laughs> Hold on, I will get a copy of the uh, of the Elder Sign because all of you can see this. So I'll put this as a handout for everyone. Um, give oh, me two. Oh, jolly seconds. good. Uh, Love hand, handout. Uh, edit. A handout about a hand. <laughs> a hand handout. Hand, hand handout, yeah. <laughs> hand handout. Yo, dog, I heard you like handouts. <laughs> he said, yo, dog, and the dog replied. <laughs> right, everyone should have that as a handout now. Oh, lovely. It's Ooh, the that's nice. Ooh. The power yeah. Is of the that elf elvish? No. Uh, it... No. Uh, no, that... that's an elf. I can Is tell it you Arabic? It looks it? Arabic. It is. Well, it's the same one as, you know, right here, would you believe? On the book. Yeah. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> it's like yeah. someone's done a really sloppy job. They started to do a star, and then they were like, "Oh shit, that's a bit devilish, isn't it?" Well, blood is, we'll just, we'll just, right we'll just oddly, smush oddly it a little enough, bit. Oddly enough, the trees in the grove were just as sloppy, the, weren't what's they? What's the name of the Cthulhu language? It starts with an R. Oh, for fuck's sake! Yes, it is. Violet. Just as for bloody sloppy. Yeah, violet. Bloody. Or something like that. Yes. Back in a minute. Sorry, I just need to step away for a second. No worries. What is good? Well, no. I was say, what does Google say? That's that's cheating. Um, okay. Madison Beckley stands up. And she opens the lever again, puts her book away, closes it, and replaces the large covered book into the um into the um bookcase. Is there a title on that book? Well, on the bookcase book. No, on the on the book that covers the lever. Yeah. Um. No, there is not. Hmm. You notice that there's a lot of missing titles on spines on quite a few of these books around here. How long have you known about all of this? Again, that's a very vague question, Sheffield. Uh, if uh, how? Talking, if if you're talking about the missing girls or any of that that sort of thing uh i've uh, not known about that uh you know, the magic the and the, the realms the... and the ghosts and well um the the other aspects shall we say i have known about for a while define a while was that before you came here? After you came here? Since I was well, about fifteen. So this is that would be before that she came to Crystal, no? It would indeed. Hmm. All right. Um. Doctor Maxwell. Uh, he mentioned, right when I had that weird experience, he mentioned something about there being many worlds. And that mm -hmm. might, like, with me seeing my grandfather, I might be seeing memories or perhaps even fragments from these other, potentially from these other worlds. And so when I saw what I suspect to be a Bexley in, in my bedroom, like, like well, that might have been something similar. Possibly, yes. Hmm. Are we talking other planes of existence here? I think we are. It would, it would be... <laughs> the invisible voice. <laughs> <laughs> I almost forget he's there. About it's about everything. <laughs> oh, you're saying I'm forgetful now. You know, you can just forget me and no... no, no fine. I don't think anyone can forget you, Hartwell. Oh, it's too late now. I've been very, very badly hurt by can my I, friend Companion. Can, it, can any of us still see him, or can any of us see him now? I don't think so. Can I see him with my symbol? Bobby, you can. Oh, cool. Mm. Hello. I can hey. see you now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm focusing that is. On, on Lady <laughs> Begsley still. Um, how did you learn about all of this? the hell even is all this? 
Byron, you sum up my first thoughts exactly. Uh, the easiest way to answer your question is with another question. Oh, that's rude. How long Daddy, have you, you know that? <laughs> how long have you known that there is answers to things, but you can't quite ascertain what they are? Always. I mean, Everything like that's... that you're learning is merely those answers, and this is merely further knowledge. Just not everybody's privy to it. Did someone not teach you? Enough. I, in fact, stumbled upon it. Uh, but then I learned. It's, it is very dangerous to dabble with such things as it is heard of some of these things maddening uh, and has adverse effects on one's soul so I tend to refrain but um, we ought to do something about this uh, predicament we're all in should we not here take some of these I hope they're eye drops I've only got a few of them spare and she pulls out from the um, one of the drawers, which is locked beneath this cabinet. She unlocks it and pulls out so about two. Uh, let's see how many there are in there. Yeah, two spare necklaces similar to hers. Kind of less designer and less uh, nice, but they they share the same symbol. Classic. Um, what the the wonky star. They do indeed have the elder sign on. Okay. Who would like one? They yeah, should you allow you to I see. Was certainly interested. Well. Everyone right. just jumps up. <laughs> right. For one, I, I can one, already, I can already see him. For one, I need to perform some kind of first aid on that. First aid on a. On a uh, Lord Hartwell. So if I'd like one, if only for a, a temporary period. I'd like it one won't make a I'm... difference. The bandages or whatever will just decay. No, they'll Can just. You shut up for just a minute while I'm trying to get help for you. Other realm, surely. Just pop me in a plane, I'll be fine. <laughs> oh, I'm just already... following his eyes and holding a hand out. You're... So you're he's already on another plane. Instead of Wonder Woman with the invisible plane, it's now a plane with the invisible pilots. He, he gives you. Um... She gives you one of the necklaces, Byron. Um, I'm gonna hold it up and. It's a little. It's a little bronze symbol on what looks like a, a little, um, silvered chain. So that is the elder sign. I'll just say that out loud. Well, the, that name has no yeah. meaning for me. It no, does to me. And. Um, company, you said you wanted one, so she mm -hmm. has. I think everyone wants one, okay? But Artemis <laughs> just isn't as aggressive, and y'all just stood up uh, yeah, first. I just, I just passed on that. Well, you can't see still. Um, <laughs> I can see, I can see the things that are important. Yeah, well, from that window, you can see certain things that appear to you. Um, I'm gonna put mine on just carefully. Bogvard, you now notice that you can see Bobby again. Well, the outline of him, at least. I'm gonna be. And... I'm gonna carefully pull it underneath my like, like, like sh uh, suit jacket and over and over. And as you, as Byron puts on his necklace, Bogvard, you can see him again. Well, is if the outline of him. Mm -hmm. I'm putting on the necklace as well, not as careful. <laughs> and likewise, Compigny becomes as visible as you've seen in the last couple of hours. Do I see Hartwell? You all who put on the necklaces see Hartwell. Right, um, Maddie, do you have any first aid supplies around? He does He's look a bit a... rough, doesn't he? Yes, I yeah. believe you've got okay. some in the kitchen. <laughs> I've right. had a board smashed into my face, knocked out, and thrown through a gravestone. Well, I mean, I honestly, you look at help <laughs> some of that. I should be probably dead, but. Well, Apparently you're not I made now, of so let... stuff. Well, you're not for now, so let's work with that. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm it. gonna go out and get one of the first aid kits and just. Okay. 
So, oh, sure keep, yeah, I did, clear. like, low-key nursing for a bunch of years. I just remembered that quick. Yes, you did. Um, but, Byron, you go and get the first aid kit. Uh, Maddie unlocks the door. Tells you to Is hurry there back. Is anything and... else I can Again, see in this? Think... Since you put on the necklace. Yeah. I other than Hardwell and... Give me a spot hidden. Ah, uh, not my strong suits. Oh, no. No, you cannot. Ah, uh, that's a damn shame. Yeah, I'm just gonna yeah, go back quickly, uh, grab it, making sure to keep the necklace concealed. Mm-hmm. Alright. It's fine. Just sent me. Yeah, I will put it under my clothing as well. Mm-hmm. Mm. Probably a wise idea, Maddie yeah. says. Okay, so, um, Byron. Give mm -hmm. me a first aid roll. Right. Oh. Okay. Shitting hell, okay. With an extreme. Wow. Um, Hartwell, where your injuries and subsequent health regeneration would have taken a number, number of days. You gain one health point back right now. Ooh, lovely. Um... And instead of the, how many points are you missing? Uh, eight. So that'd be five. So be, you'll be missing seven. You'll be missing seven after this. So one day, so be two, four, eight, sixteen, uh, thirty-two. Oh, 64, 128. 28. So instead of the 128 days it would have taken you to recover all of your health, um, it's only going to take you around a month of wow. recovery. I will say that first aid naught like, as base for, like recovers for like one a uh, hit point and is yeah. and is more for you know stopping you from dying, but sure. Yeah, uh, which is the one one hit point I gave, but. You've done. Um, he's he's cut down a major amount of recovery time. Uh, no, Byron, you noticed that. that you noticed. Uh, you you went uh, very much uh, quick and easy, sort of military sort of thing. You mm. saw that there was things out of line, and you cracked them back in place. And it uh, probably wasn't Hart comfortable. Hartwell was honest. very uncomfortable. You didn't re realize it before you, but you'd uh, you'd uh, dislocated some thumbs and such. And <laughs> thumbs. Uh, thumbs. <laughs> How many thumbs so, do I have? Some fingers. Oh. Some fingers. <laughs> you have two thumbs. That still worked. Oh, um, some of over. some of the thumbs that he has. <laughs> some of some of your fingers. Uh, like, you, like, you off you'd have extra. It, like you'd twinged like some of your uh, like your muscles and your shoulder was slightly out of line. It was so uh, Arthur quickly just reset everything to much pain, but yes. and then. Uh, and then wrapped up what was necessarily so you know, you've now also got an arm in a sling right now um your left arm is in a sling right now um everyone who can't see uh which i believe is there's <laughs> miss sheffield and Bovard. well Bovard, you can't see anything but miss sheffield you see arthur going over to um lord uh lord hartwell and like tending to him but the things that is being put on is slowly fading and fizzling into nothing <laughs> So mm. it's it's quite concerning because you see things like a bandage go on, the bandage soak with blood and then disappear. Oh mm -hmm. my goodness. Right, um, that should have some kind of effect. Uh, my apologies about its pain, but... Well, oh, don't worry about it, old man. I've had worse in the trenches, you know that. It's the first time we called an old man, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Bexley like, like, is quiet. Well. Um, Jesus. <laughs> Lady Bexley is, has been relatively quiet oh, and is kind of just sat well with a drink, nursing it quite well. Um, I'm going to pour myself a drink. <laughs> okay. The fuck um, is going on? <laughs> I have a science background. <laughs> There, there seems to be only hard liquor in this room, if that's okay. Um, that's... Dude, I'm I'm beyond, like... I'm, what the I'm fuck? just gonna <laughs> glance over, like... This is new. <laughs> Lady Bexley sort of looks up and goes, Oh, do go careful. 
and then goes back to her own drink. But she she looks relatively solemn in her face. She doesn't look cheerful, which she normally quite is. Mm. She Psychology. normally has this sort of she normally has this kind of smirk and smolder about her, but uh, the the bubbliness has kind of left. Actually, there's no point checking that. I can already tell that she's dead. I have no idea how the seating in this room is, but I'm gonna sit like kind of near to her. Okay, that's fine. Um, she's she was sat in a she sat in a singular armchair, but there is a sofa next to her, like the okay. other side of like the small side table that's next to her currently. I shall sit there and I shall take a long drink. Hold that up, is, I'm about to say something. Don't all, interrupt. This is also the only sofa in the room. The rest of them are uh, like oh, armchairs yes. uh, with 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 a table next to them. There's a number of them because this is the smoking room. There's a lot of singular. Everyone would have their own chair and table. Uh, and table. This sofa is sort of like it's not normally in the room. It's just kind of being put in here for now because they're trying to find a space for it. That kind of thing. Um, I will stand in the corner due here. to the fact not wanting to bleed on the furniture. Your bandage, for God's sake, man. It's fine. It's well, your blood wouldn't blood. currently show up, so it's fine. Yes, but when oh, the belt is oh taken gosh. off or wears off... <laughs> well, then you dry Does he, wait, so his blood is still a part of him even when it's no longer in him? How long till that wears off? This is strange. We could delve right in there well, for a while. Well, for we example, we did see some of his blood on the floor mm, yeah, in the forest. So it, would, it becomes visible after it goes out. Someone cut him. Eventually. Yeah. <laughs> so we could, te we could technically make all of him invisible, but that would one, undo all of my work and two, even if he wouldn't survive. Cut off a part and, and I would just be a walking here. blood corpse. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Did the blood oh, in the bones yeah. come out of him before it, the, the spell was cast on him, though? Mm. Yeah, That's well, very true. unless it was cast using a plank. <laughs> <laughs> An enchanted That's, plank. Uh, you know, a large, a large, <laughs> um, a large I, one. You got a twig. Enchanted plank of invisibleness. <laughs> For those big smells. Vanishing plank. And I will swing it with a mighty axe. Yeah. A I'm level gonna... one enchanted plank. Okay. Oh my Going goodness. For it. Anyway, I want to drain some drink and I want to turn to Bexley. So you've had encounters with these. Previous People. residents before. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um. I wouldn't say regularly, but I've, I've met them all. Well, it was. It was, many it was uh, how many is all? It was um. He who uh. Told me to come and meet you all there, for example. Um. But uh, how many is all, did you say? I believe there's only 12 so far that have been given the privilege. 12. 12 you have given the privilege of what exactly? These animals. Have. Yes. It's only 12 that have um, been given gifts. By who? Or what? By, by whom? Ah, hmm. I'm not sure I'm allowed to tell you. Who but I'm allowed? not That's going convenient. to stop you. Well, a, a member would. I am not a member. Um. How did member? you find out about them? Well, um, when you live under the same roof as one, you tend to have to learn these things. Are you saying what part your of him is an animal? <laughs> <laughs> uh, not a, none, he has he has not been given any gifts, but he is a member. I don't know if you've heard of them, but it is a certain society by the name of the Order of the Red Lady. Freaking ah, yes, we no. heard of that. When yes, yes. We <laughs> did notice some of that. Um. The Order oh. have been silent benefactors to this town and some of the areas around it for a long time. This is grassroots region for them, shall we say, but uh, their reach is a much larger now. You wouldn't happen to have any member in the Arabic Peninsula? Well, Britain's empire never set, did it? 
This is very true. And so... And what does this order do? Again, it is not my place to... Of course, of course. ...share the workings of a fraternal society. Uh, let's just say they are keepers of certain information that only some are privy to. Mm. Why do they need weird animal parts to keep information? Oh, that is... Like they put it, gifts. That's uh, a reward, so to speak. And Let's some see. of the members are dead. Ish. <laughs> well, that's one way to put it, yes. They're no longer on this plane of existence. Would be a better way, yes. Sounds a good manner. <laughs> well, yeah, so... <laughs> How many of what we would consider to be the dead end up on this other plane of existence? Through choice, not many. Okay, okay. Um, Accidents. Clifton, no. Clifton is aware, but not all of the household are. Hence why I've had to lock the doors. Hmm, right. makes sense. They know not, to, they know not to, to disturb in certain matters, and uh, if we have certain events, only some staff members, older, tends to be the older staff members, are privy to be there. He did make a very strange description of himself. Being a vessel of the house. Yeah, a conduit is the word he used. Indeed. Um, well, Clifton's a interesting character. Right. Do tell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I believe you could ask him on that one. Ah, uh, yes, he's very approachable. Mm-hmm. Well, Maybe you could just call him in, then. He's more likely I'm... to approach you. <laughs> I believe he's not in at the moment. Um... Hmm. Head Butler is not in the house. That seems awfully peculiar. Well, he's going to get the master from the station. Um, Are you aware of the? Well, I hardly even know how to describe them. The the members of the ghosts in the house. <laughs> I am only privy to some that I've met. I know there are more, and there are some that I've heard of. At least some of them have um, made their acquaintance. Yeah, are, are, are there any, like, yeah. that tend to move around in the peripheral of your vision? <laughs> Not that I'm aware of, which is why I was surprised that you were when we had that whole kerfuffle the other night. <laughs> I saw something. Well, what about the dolls? <laughs> oh, we've not had a chance to talk because you're at the funeral. Oh man. Um, so uh, the the uh, that was the bedroom of um one of the Bexleys. I can tell you which one if you don't remember. And I believe um. One of those dolls in the room, I can't remember which one. Um, the one I saw was the sailor. Well, it, um, it was a peculiar practice some years ago where they started using the actual hair of a child to make said doll, and we tend not to go in there for certain reasons, uh, which you might already be aware of. Yeah. Clifton yeah, has a bit of a sense of humour and noticed. looks down on people sometimes and may have assigned one of your said room. I'm, I'm I mean, you're, by, you're telling me by the reaction knows... Mr. Mr. Quirk received that room. Um, so that looks quite comfortable, so I'm not complaining. Would you like a different room, Mr. Quirk? Uh, no, I'm happy enough, thank you. So the strange movements I saw the doll have, you're saying they're partially haunted? 
Haunted would be the common word for it, yes. Um, the essence has certain control over it as it links them to this realm still. At the very least, it doesn't seem hostile, just Quite slightly... Yeah. But it's a child. Yes. Makes a nice change from, well... Maddie, you've—I don't know how you, how in depth or extensive your—I don't know the right word for it—occult maybe knowledge is, but perhaps you might know, if not what's going on, perhaps of a vague idea of some of the of a strange creature we've encountered. Hmm. She heard about the dog, no? She heard about it. You told her. No, well. Yep. Unfortunately, I have... Uh, I've been trying to do a bit of research myself, and uh, so have some of the members of the group. We haven't found any links to a dog-like creature. So you're saying this creature is either new to your order, or something well, very old and obscure? Not exactly. I'm getting to that. Um, one of the ways we got to set about to solve fixing Mr. Hartwell here was, uh, I don't know if you remember him saying it, but was finding a diary. I'm tenuous to believe that maybe, just maybe, the same diary is used to bring that beast about. Hmm. Are you saying you're missing that diary? I'm saying it's never been my diary. No, I'm not saying it's your diary, but is that diary missing? I would have to check. Whose diary is it? She consults her notes. Yeah. I, I know whose diary is. I was just back. opening the correct page. Well, I believe you've been somewhere named after this play person. Uh, I think Wait. he's referring to the diary of Friar Forest. Oh. And with um, that, we're going to go for our midpoint break. Uh, what is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> um, really good. Yeah, I still take going... donations for train tickets. Join us to, in five to ten minutes, uh, where we'll I be back. I could do it cheaply, but you know. So, yeah. Uh, Got a rail card. Then, guys. I've written we've got to find a missing dairy. That's <laughs> what it looks like. Yeah. Go find a haunted farm. <laughs> what a right. funk library use could be useful. God damn it. Everyone. Oh my goodness. I was, I was politely hinting to everyone it would be a good skill to have. What? I mean, Which one? I put... Library use. Yeah, I've I'm freaking on it, mate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the music. Right. I'm gonna head back. To the left. Yeah. I'm gonna get some tea.
bam ba dee 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 do ba dum ba ba dum ba ba da da ba da 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 How is everybody in chat now that we're on break? How are we all doing? How are we enjoying the first half of this? Jesus, that's loud. Is it? It's like I'm being orderly assaulted by a, by a bloody jazz band. <laughs> yep. <laughs> He slammed over oh, the head by a trombone. Sorry, right, Rival, I didn't know if you were back or not. I saw in my chat. Oh, sorry, how, how did I, how did we not notice? Well, technically, most of us can see you now, so, uh... Nope. 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 I'm invisible. I've literally Your fault, done you made me invisible, you gave me something I can use. Plus the fact I'm getting chuckles out of red for days on this, so... For God's sake, you're like the miserable child, you're the child who gets ill and is like, No, I'm dying! <laughs> no, he made me invisible. He should have realised he would have been better off making someone who was going to take it seriously but invisible. Fair. Well, I didn't know you were going to be the one that walked in and followed it. You're lucky it's not all of you. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they, would, they would need a very big plank to hit all of them. That's more like a tree. I think they might have had more adverse effect. Don't give him any ideas. I think he's got enough bad ideas anyway. I think at this point it's like just like extra fun, like you know. However, on that note, mid. Because I haven't had a big thought of thinking about like my backstory in relation to like, you know, the other characters in my backstory. Is there anything useful I can give you there in terms of plot hook? Or... If you want to write some other stuff up, then sure, and then I can develop plot hooks out of it. Excellent. Like have um, like a, like, a, like a, a mad family member or whatever. Can do. You're not yeah. The mad family member. Oh, oh, I had this weird dream in here, here on this day or whatever. But uh. <laughs> how have we enjoyed the first half so far, gents? Oh, very uh. interesting. A bit annoyed about a bit annoyed about my role, but you know that's life. <laughs> like, I'm oh, so yes. sorry. Oh yes, this person I've been thinking about been wanting to question for the past several months in real life. Can we? Oh, that's a ninety-seven. <laughs> well, my point is, much as I appreciate the help my comrade in arms has given me and mm. given me help, it's going to take <laughs> about three years for me to heal. It was going to take three years for you to heal. No, it now will it's because months. of the speed we go through days in this game. Well, oh, you never yeah. know. There might be, if we wait until, you know, obviously the end, once the end of this case happens, there might be a gap between the next case. Thank God, I hope so. Well, yeah, because otherwise you'll never heal because we keep no, I'll doing never heal. I'll just be ill constantly. On the verge <laughs> this, is, this is why I only take damage in, in, in one damage increments and always use first aid afterwards. <laughs> you can't always be that lucky, though. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think any of the damage of was left. <laughs> I fumbled that power one, and it went, I got slammed through a blooming. Uh, yes, but it was also after you chased but... someone off by yourself into a woods. Yeah. I feel that's less luck, more you know. What was it? Was it? What was it again? Rule number. One, never split the party. <laughs> well, let's split the party. Yeah, but don't, don't go. Out, oh, don't I'm go sorry, but we've been splitting the bloody party pretty much consistently since we started. Split the party, yeah. yes. Don't wander off into the woods by yourself. You're the guy who gets killed first in a horror film. <laughs> well, in this case, turn invisible. Yeah. <laughs> Which is I also know, quite you funny. But, I mean, follow a, a suspect to help the team out, and all you get is. Friends, maybe. <laughs> oh, well, we've fought like five other competent people. Four and a half competent people. Four and a half. <laughs> <laughs> maybe one of them. Or perhaps one and a half of them could help with this. All right, one had just climbed out of a grave on his own because the rest of us were being me. You just got <laughs> into the grave and were yeah. in a fetal position. I was at the fetal position at this point. Yes, you were. I was now looking shaky and ill somewhere off in the corner. Yeah, and you weren't doing anything at all. Um... <laughs> like you could have changed that. 
I believe uh, our journalist friend was inside the church trying to figure out what the markings were and things, looking at graves. And Artemis was, um, well, trying to overhear different conversations. Oh, you know, you do you, but just, just you know, we, we can't help with stuff, you know. If you don't keep running off into woods by yourself. I haven't yes, got Daddy. a lot. Of... I am not into that. <laughs> also, I don't yes. have that many a uh, like yes, excuse. Father. I don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, younger, I'm younger than literally all of you. By some of you, by a factor. Of what? Not a big one, but you know. Two. I know at least like I'm, I'm less than half Muzz's age. I've no idea of rivals, but you know, it's a reasonable possibility that I'm also less than half his age. I mean, if there's like eight years between me and Ben, eight, yeah, I think. Hello, twenty-two. Who's half my age? Ten, ten. <laughs> That's right, it is ten because. <laughs> did you just choke on a banana? I did. I mean, oh. there's a lot of people half my oh, age here. <laughs> Never eat a banana on the internet. That's just scary because there's he a lot of people half my age this year. That's just weird. Nope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'll get there at one point, Kazoo. You gotta come get it. Yeah. Come here. Just like, yeah. So the idea that I'm being rushed as the oh. old one for this, for, for reasons yeah. is, you know, weird. <laughs> And go, completely Benny. Go, Benny. Go, Benny. Go, Benny. Her favorite or... treat is banana. Oh, my cat is 26. <laughs> you are just a little banana. She's like seven years older than I am. <laughs> How old is my character? My character is actually uh, one year older than I am because Mitch up the date of when this was happening. Yes, I did. <laughs> I just, it's like, right, this is the youngest I can get a character where he was feasibly an officer during World War One. <laughs> No, I mean, well, people I mean, were officers legally? at 16 in World War One. Right, they're, legally. They're, yeah, I was about to say, because there were kids that, like, got the like, fraudulent, fraudulent papers at, like, 14 and what did. Oh, yeah. Yeah, then, yeah but like that, I think, like, a 14 yeah. was more, you know, the input was more just, you know, the meat shields. The officers, it was very slightly more stringent, but only Wait. very slightly. In the final year of the war, there was a lot of 16-year-old second lieutenants because they really pushed them through training. I'm more thinking that this guy was reasonably competent in the war, so he probably wasn't, you know, 17. So I don't know about you guys, but I was fucking useless at 17. Actually, I was working on the uh, on the graveyard at 17, so... Oh, I did doing... basically the same thing he was. <laughs> <laughs> so... Slightly I, less chance of dying, though. I'm kind of enjoying looking at Twitter these days because over the past like couple weeks it's been nothing but TwitchCon, 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 uh. TwitchCon start and it's just non-stop people bitching about TwitchCon. <laughs> <laughs> bitching about TwitchCon, bitching about things that happen at TwitchCon, and bitching about other streamers. <laughs> uh. That's yeah, all that's going yeah, on. Not, su not surprising, to be not fair. Not like, like, two days ago, it was like, someone posts a picture of nothing, like, just a, a, a table filled with open beers. Oh, yeah. That you can I just, saw that. You can just grab. And then next day, it's someone got roofied at TwitchCon. And then oh, they yeah, what the that, hell? It's, it's oh. Keem, Keem complaining about the person who complained about the open containered beer. And then everybody else dogpiling on him going, what the fuck is wrong with you? How are you still a thing? Because he's a game star, he, so he's a fucking like negativity vampire. He's the same species as Katie Hopkins. <laughs> <laughs> Survives on nothing but the sp but spite. Like Chris Morgan's in there. So you, well. Yeah, exactly. So same. I, I know who Katie Hopkins is. I don't know who Keemstar is. Oh, oh he's a an internet. You, for the best. YouTube, for the best. <laughs> YouTube version of Piers Morgan, essentially. Fucking oh, you know, bottom feeder. Makes money off just shitness that makes us useless. Like, I, opinion, hadn't, you know? I hadn't heard about him since he accused some like elderly man of being a pedophile with absolutely no cause and was completely incorrect about it, and then had all of his friends like hate bomb the guy. Yeah. Right. Well, we right. Le less about that him. particular sack of shit. Um, chill. Hmm. So, welcome back, everybody. And as. I welcome you all back. 
you hear... <laughs> well, give me a hearing check, everybody. Listen. Listen, that's the one. Jesus Christ! I'm good at these. Me too, I'm, I'm great at listening. listening. Yeah, just don't ever say that word again. I'm Artemis Borkvard. And... That's it. <laughs> you hear a car approach the house. Heard a car Are we supposed to out? jump up like excited dogs? <laughs> no. Oh boy, the no, master's no. home. <laughs> I, ju I just said you heard a car approach the house. Okay, well, I will look towards the noise of the car. It's a wall. Oh, well, then I'll look towards it, but you know. What was that, Borgvad? I heard a car <laughs> approach. Well, would that oh, be, uh, you know. would that be, uh, Theodore? The demon butler in Mr. Bloody hell, it might. Uh,. Okay, um... Stop this for the moment. No, I think we need to have a discussion. Wait, wait, wait. wait. They're oh, both fully well aware of all of the... You... Wibbly wobbly. Wait, yeah. I will go talk to Theo. And she leaves. Ah, lovely. Someone poured oh, me a so... drink. A lot of it. <laughs> uh, I'll, grab a, I'll grab a bottle of vodka and just shove it in his hand. Like, here you go. It's glass around it already. You have a bottle of vodka in your hands. Well, you don't know that, but you have a bottle in your hands, Borgvard. I'm gonna take a big... How she... Did you take the lid off of it? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, vodka, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's I Norwegian. Specify, I didn't specify scotch, so I can't get mad about that. <laughs> I want to finish the drink that I have in my hand so I can put the glass down. Okay, you down the rest of the scotch you had, and... Oh, boy, I do. <laughs> it, that burns. You're not used to it. Give me a constitution throw. I feel like I'm back in university watching my friend get drunk for the first time. Really I'm, like, result. in shock right now, okay? Anybody, anybody so have he. a good the first time I got drunk at college? Oh, you're good. Uh, you, I got you, drunk you way before whole, college. You do that whole... Any rum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Smooth. But you, you don't know no the reaction than that. I'm also going to go it, and you. grab a, you know... Probably another yeah, no, just a whiskey and very okay. so slowly, conservatively, just sip it. Okay. Are you are you like trying to flex on me with your drinking skill? No, I'm trying to have a drink for fuck's sake. I have a drink. Had a very stressful morning. You, anyone who wants a drink, can pour themselves a drink. Just tell me that you are. Um, so yeah, I does some... the booze help my eyesight at all? <laughs> some rum. No, uh, you can't tell because everything is red. And I can't, I, I can't see any of uh, other than the normal shapes I already can. Other than well, the yeah, people you can see... have the symbol, you cannot see them. Yes, okay. I'm also gonna put the necklace, uh, change it from underneath my just like jacket to like underneath my shirt, all the way down. Yep, no worries. I'll pop, 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 pop a few buttons, put it right under on my neck, underneath my suit, like shirt and tie. Yep. I'm, I'm curious, with yes, the fact that we could, so this is kind of in character as well. But the fact that we could. When we touched Hartwell, we could sort of see him. If we, like, touch the symbol, would we, like, is it transferable by touch? Perhaps. Who are you sitting near to? I'm, I'm just probably stood at the, at the bar at the moment, just talking. So who is I mean, there is one way to find out. It's a, it's a drinks globe in this room, it's not the oh, bar. Well. Because we're in the smoking room currently. Oh boy! <laughs> That's classy right there. Oh yeah. yeah. Right, I'm gonna walk over to Artemis, just uh, take off my chain for a moment. Try this on for a moment. She's not gonna want to give it back. <laughs> You're not <laughs> wrong! <laughs> oh, but as you see the necklace leave, um, you kind of see uh, Willem as a shape kind of slowly fade in your vision. But you still see like the little symbol, like is it, is it got, like, like 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 a little halo or something, like a little glow. It kind of just looks like a black spot. Okay. And you uh, and you see a very faint like, <coughs> sort of chain off it that sort of disseminates, and then he hands it okay. to Artemis. I will hold my hand up, and you can and drop it into my hand. As it drops into Artemis's hand, Artemis from the hand, Artemis's form sort of shows up. Okay, Artemis. Hear me out. I have an experiment. <laughs> I want you to walk out the door, close it behind you, 
Just stand there for five seconds, then turn around and come back in. Okay. So, Are you going when to? she walks yeah. out the door, can I still see that, like, shadow of her presence through the door, like, where she would be? You can. Through the door, <laughs> at least. Oh. So, if, oh. So, we so we basically have... Have a I have superpowers. <laughs> well, <laughs> only <laughs> only while you're blind. Can you stay blind? Did we ask if we can unblind him? I think we no, only talked yeah. about. Nobody asked. Well, about... And I was <laughs> frozen for most of it. Honestly, this seems more beneficial. <laughs> I and 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 frankly, I was kind of hoping that like I would have a superpower or something from my <laughs> incident, and this is exactly what I was thinking. Okay. What what if we give yeah. what if we give Borkvard one of the the medallions? Let me test it out. Put it in my doodle. <laughs> I give him mine. Okay, I'm gonna. Have take I even it. come back in the room yet? Both hard. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna. I'm gonna put take... it on. Yeah, you've come I... back in the room because you said to come back after five. Yeah, just five. Seconds. Put it on. Uh, as soon as it hits your hand, it starts burning. You both hard. That thing's really fucking hot. What the fuck? Okay, let's. God, not you're a dick, that. dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> That, that made my night. Um. <laughs> ah, the, Nor the Norwegian cool. snowball ability. <laughs> Dude, Shit, I'm just is holding. Any, like, is is that's fucking hot? Did you put Did it? Anybody on a want to go skateboards? Uh, <laughs> fuck. I'm holding out my hand to Artemis. All right, now I'm going. What to start... happened to like? Oh, you know, I'll have it if no one else will. Like Wait. what happened to that man? You've touched power and now it's 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 encased you. Maybe you shouldn't have it back if you Both want it so give bad. Me a spot hidden. This is a little a little power of the ring going on here, mate. You, you just put <laughs> it. Are you collateral now? Does it work with the symbol on my hand, is it? And I will baby <laughs> oh! oh fuck. Oh my goodness. That's critical. <laughs> okay, everybody take your headphones off. Is that the I swear to God. Is that the first one? I've seen a lot of hundreds. No. There's no, we've had extremes. two ones so oh, far. Oh, okay. Borkvard. So, I've got a few things to tell you right now. Uh, with that, you actually see um, two shapes of outlines of people coming through uh, the main hall. Uh, you also notice that if you look towards the shape you assume is Bobby, that where Bobby's hand should be there is a much larger radius and it's all just black and echoing. And as you stare at it, you hear whispers. Dissonance. Sort of bending through the air and reality. And as you do, you find it draws you in. Your focus ever sort of affixed to it. Give me a power check, please. Now give me a sanity check, sir. Oh, you're so lucky that you failed. Remember, you're meant to fail a sanity check. Uh, that's still right, right in the middle. Yeah, very close. Uh, you, you've only succeeded that by one, one point. point. So as you do, you you kind of look at it and you find yourself being drawn into these voices, this ever dissident. As you do, they start calling your name. They keep saying, Borkvard, 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 why? Why, Borkvard? And then you just shake it off. But you notice that that still ever dark, glowing darkness is there. You also notice another figure upstairs to your right. Or what you assume is upstairs to your right. But there's now three figures coming in that you can see coming into the main hall. And that's everything you see. Welcome back, everybody. Yeah. Well done. Okay, so you see, what you guys see is Borkvard stand up and walk towards Bobby very slowly and intently, like, leaning in. Slowly. Hello. 
not paying any attention to you. <laughs> and then just go. Why? Why what? Why what? <laughs> and then, and then my attention just like goes up. Uh, you okay there, Borkfart? Why not? Has he been uh... possessed? <laughs> I mean, I did give him a bottle of vodka. I didn't know it was going to hit him that hard. <laughs> just, just, okay. I'm just putting that out there. You guys weren't just all chanting my name, right? Nope. No. no. We barely even look at you when we have the choice. <laughs> <laughs> I sent the invisible I, man. Uh... I find that hard to believe. But moving on. I think he's weird, but I don't mind looking at Borkwad. He's a good looking Somebody fella. else here. Do you mean there's somebody I'm gonna spot hidden? I mean there was like a, a DM man before also. I mean I suppose it's not oh, oh, oh. I mean awesome. I have the necklace I mean I don't have the necklace back yet. Yeah, you I'm don't seven. see anyone, Byron. Okay, no, I you don't. Through. I wanna um, do a spot hidden. <laughs> you do but, a spot uh, hidden uh, then. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Well, you can try, okay, but uh, been as as this. you do this, you hear a knock on the door. Oh. Bob, do you see that there's three silhouettes of people outside the door? I'm still looking up. Okay. Oh, uh, then you don't see that. Um, <laughs> yeah, Artemis, you don't see anything. Um, well, I mean, I I would if I noticed them and then continued my. So, why were you looking at me? Um, excuse me, uh, Hello. if you'd all like to come out, you hear from the other side of the door. I'm gonna walk towards the door and open it. And in front of you, you see, uh, Lady Bexley, Lord Bexley, and, of course, Clifton. Why is it? Clifton. There we are. Thank you. <laughs> my, my mind went. <laughs> Wild guess. Um, uh, <laughs> Well, I was, I was hoping that it'd be relatively normal introductions. It's lovely to see you all, uh, and so many new faces. But I believe there needs to be some dire conversation had. Um, Indeed, I am um, so sorry, sorry that I couldn't have been here sooner. Uh, Clifton, make sure that uh, you have dismissed the rest of the staff for the evening. Send them all home. No one stays on site for now. Uh, no one bar you and Chef, okay. How loud is this dire conversation plan about to be? Well, I even 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 so, if uh, we need to continue anything tonight that you might have already discussed with my wife, uh, I'd rather that there would be no prying eyes that don't need to know more than they need to know. Understandable. Quite. Would you all join me in the main hall? Um... I believe it would be a bit cramped to have us to have nine of us in the smoking room. Even though the, you look around, there is about twelve chairs in the smoking room. <laughs> um, are we expecting more guests? Is the room um, smoking? Are air quotes a thing in the twenties? <laughs> you can make them a thing. <laughs> Intonation definitely is. Yes, um, yeah. but um, with that, he doesn't really pay attention. But uh, Theodore Bexley uh, walks into the main hall. Uh, puts down his bags uh, and takes off what looks like to be a white silk scarf. Um, hangs it on a uh, there's like a small clothes rail in the hallway. Comes back in. Um, well, first things first. I do think some introductions are in order. Hartwell, it's lovely to see you, friend. Uh, you too, Byron. But uh, hey. who might the rest of you be? Willem Company. Nice to meet you. Just Does he not here. recognize me? He doesn't. Um, not right away. Fucking rude boy. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I guess I'll extend a hand. Um, Artemis Sheffield. They've just crossed the way. Oh, that's right. Uh, you're the Sheffield god. Uh, lovely to meet you. Uh, properly. Um, say, how is your brother? Oh, he's doing swell. <laughs> Loving his his. Good. Um. Next time you speak to him, tell him to give me a ring, won't you? Do you know each other? Uh, you could say that. Yes. 
He's um not a part of this society. I really like to think uh, that, that sip was diagenic. <laughs> Um, he, he then, he, but as soon as he said that, his his attention's gone from you, and he's uh, oh, turns okay. to the other members I, I, of, the, okay. of the group. Okay, I'm just like, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm kind of like pacing the using my you, you know the the edge of the like the the, uh, the seats as as a guide, just kind of like moving from one to the next, keeping my eyes on the upstairs. Um. I and just... the other two of you. Bobby Quirk. Pleasure nice to meet you, Mr. Quirk. Um, your relation of Robert Quirk, I'm guessing. Yes. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. I hope it was a lovely service today. Um, and you, sir, with the... Um, Injuries. <laughs> you bolt You're blind, not yeah. deaf. <laughs> I'm not. It could, it could, it could also be. Uh, me. My eyes are elsewhere. That's Oldvard Gunderson. He's a uh, just had a uh, unfortunate experience, so to speak. How how much time has passed since he told him to dismiss the staff? Um, like five minutes. Have we seen Not. them leave? You've seen some grab their bags and cases. Well, you haven't actually. Uh, <laughs> the other members of the party have. Uh, that what I know you're referring to is still there. He... Lord Borkvard Gunderson the eighth. Eighth. Ah. Oh, um. Well, lovely to meet you, Borkvard. Um. If there's anything I can do for you, Mr. Gund uh, Lord Gunderson, uh, do let me know. What on earth is it you're looking at? I'm gonna look at him. Like, even though I'm, I'm clearly have horrible eye injuries, I'm gonna look right at him because I can see him. He's uh, the rest of you. Kind of go. He, well, he, he kind of <laughs> and, goes. And you know what I do? Oh, I, I, uh, I do the he didn't 1990s. quite see your eyes re until then. He was like. I do the uh, 1990s, uh, 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 uh George Clooney Batman turn. <laughs> where but he it's has just no red eyes. His, where oh where he has God. no control over his neck, so he has to turn his shoulders. Yeah. Who's ah, the bat turn. <laughs> Who's upstairs? You dismissed which, the which, staff. Uh, Who's upstairs? Which direction? Point directly the fuck at it. I wouldn't worry about that. Can he see me? Hartwell, yeah, he. Uh, the, sorry, Bexley, yeah, he can see you, Hartwell. We're assuming he's wearing one of the symbols, like his wife, if he's part of this blooming cult. No discernible necklace on, um, Mr. Be on Theodore Bexley. What about his hands? It's probably engraved in the back of his watch or something. Is. Is there anything like uh, I saw on Who's It's on Lord Bexley? Give me a spot hidden, please. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. Pushing the roll. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, what? God. So oh. that's an auto fumble. Okay. Um. How am I gonna make? Wait. This I can't. I can't use one luck to make that a success. Nope. No. Nope, because oh, I control. thought I could still. <laughs> Shit. No. Um. So if you fail again on a that fumble, just as a reference to everybody, it automatically becomes a what a one hundred essentially. Uh, gotcha. If you fail a push. So. Um. You 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 look further and further intently at Lord Bexley, uh, Borgvard and. I need you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be hemorrhaging the sanity today, guys. Just letting you know. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I need you to make a sanity check. Oh, that's... Oh, oh, it fails good on sanity. It fails that's, that's good, good on sanity. One. Even so, uh, you still take one point of sanity damage. Because... Mm -hmm. As you do, uh, you kind of... 
you look at him longer and longer and longer and you're you're trying to discern if there's anything peculiar about him when you start to see the shape behind him of the outline of the antlers and then the searing burning pain again like 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 there was the there was another form behind him or it like kind of grew out of it do you want the answer to that or yes okay uh, yeah, of course out. I asked the question. I Essentially, want to the me. shape grew out of him, from what you could tell. That's what I was looking for. How um, much sanity is that going to cost me? Uh, no, nothing, because that's already rolled in. But uh, the, the the while it could have been coming from behind him, it looked like it. The form just built up out of him, and then then through him you saw the deer face elongate take, and this shape kind of like an involuntary you. step back, stumbling a little and. Yeah. And as soon as you do that, the shape is gone again. Narrow my eyelids. Ah, uh, so, um... I'm guessing Mr. Borkvard here has been... Messing with a, uh... Strange remains, shall we say. Did he... I see you. He turns to Lady Bexley. Douglas or Bennett? I believe it was Bennett. Ah, uh, okay. Um, Mr. Bogvard, you'll be absolutely fine. Uh, drink lots I'm of water, sure. and um, we'll see what we can do. Okay. Has to go away. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's me. That's me. <laughs> yeah. Um. I'm but uh, I'm still concerned about the figure upstairs. Figure up there. Do you mean? No offense to you, Lord, but you told me to trust you and not worry about that. I have no reason to. The figure upstairs is quite a friend, so uh, do not worry there. Friend to who? To me. And as long as you're a friend to me, he will remain a friend to you. Can't, from this vantage point, can I tell which room it's in? I I, I feel like from the smoking room, because I hadn't been in there before, it would have been hard for me to discern. From out here, can I tell which room? Yeah, you, especially as you it's my room. tried, <laughs> especially <laughs> as you've tried to get to this room a number of times, you know exactly where this is. Oh my! Fuck! God damn it! I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> hey, not. Continue on. <laughs> Do we hear this conversation they're having about a figure? Oh, upset? it's right there. Oh, yes. Because none of I... us are like... A, I can't see most of you guys, so I don't know where you are. I, I'm kind of like a... Uh, the only person you can't see the outline of now is Artemis. It's just me, thanks. <laughs> mm, mm. Fuck you all, okay. Um... Wait, why, why not figure her? Because I don't have the symbol, mate. Um, you never gave it back to me. You took it back from me. Oh, I, I assume that you'd taken it back. Oh, uh, who, okay. Basically, oh, whoever okay. didn't have the symbol is the person that gotcha. can't right, then it's Can Artemis. I try something? Of course you may, Hartwell. Go for it. Okay. Artemis, can I have your hand, please? Um, I'm going to look at his I'm not sure where you are. You know can where I Hartwell take your is hand? Hard because I will just like hold my hand Hartwell's out, out, but I'm like... Right. I, I just trying to test the theory. Okay, so I take her hand. Borkvard, can you see Artemis? Bitch. Borkvard, you cannot see Artemis. You can see her hand. I can see a disembodied hand, which <laughs> seems kind of cruel in the moment. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> can, we, can we still see the hand w because we're wearing the sim? Does it disappear for us? <laughs> the, hand, <laughs> the hand does not disappear for you. Ah. It just... It doesn't appear with my hand around it. Your hand appears in her hand. Ooh! Imagine okay. everything being flipped suddenly. Um, right, there's okay. multiple perspectives to take into consideration. <laughs> yeah. I'm going okay. to all, all I will let go play. of Mrs. Hand because she's made it very clear she doesn't like me that much. You've just rolled terrible <laughs> on your flirting. Like that's that's on yes, you. I know. And that is that is made it clear that you don't like it that much. 
this. I'm going to look to... Uh, what, that you've been really awkward around me a no, lot no, of this, time? This uh, is all, all I'm saying is, if I rolled better, then uh, maybe I, we'd have got on better. But obviously I rolled badly, and that has given a bad impression of me to you, and therefore you don't like me very much. This is all rather fun and games, but um, <laughs> I believe you guys... Sorry, I said what figure guys. to Bulkford, uh, like... Before and then we got into yeah, a can we stop about who sees who. I, I'm sorry, Artemis. I didn't know you said anything to me in character. What was it? What figure? But what figure are you talking about? Because you you were talking to um Lord Someone. Bexley. Someone's and, upstairs. And we Lord, were... Be Lord Bexley cuts in. It doesn't matter. I I, I highly disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Look, do you want my help or not? Um... Why don't you? Why don't we have the whole uh? Kate and Caboodle join us then. He can't join us. He has to stay where he is. Why does he? I don't believe you. I've seen him. Oh, God. oh I highly doubt you've seen who that is. Um. Okay. Uh. Some, someone's up. There's someone's not privy to this conversation. There's someone still in the house. He dismissed the the, the staff, but there's someone still here. Yeah. Oh. Confusing looks between like <laughs> yeah, uh, all yeah. of the the three. Wait, I saw a figure in my in my room last night. And I, Not, I saw a figure. He walked across the balcony and opened the door without touch and disappeared. There is also the moisture. The moisture. I saw a similar figure a few days before, and looked like he had the face a similar facial structure to you. And I looked to a uh, beard. Well, that's awfully disconcerting. Uh... That's awfully disconcerting. Of all of this, <laughs> <laughs> that. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's used to the other stuff. I'm getting the feeling he... this is we new currently do. Yes. Uh, who's the... got the lock picks? Let's go get who's it from upstairs. <laughs> get him in here. No, we're not. I know doing where he that. is. We're not doing Hold that. On. I I need to roll some dice for a moment. Please. We're gonna find out how the hell to get your sight back and me, make me. I, I, am, my sight, I am seeing more clearly than ever before. Trust me. Yeah, he's insane. <laughs> yeah, he's insane. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm like first not first blinking anymore. Evening, folks. Let's see how this goes. I'm not blinking oh. at all. Oh no. Bogvard. Yes. You only hear the click, but the rest of you ah, see. This is where this is going. You, the rest of you see. Uh, a pistol. Lord Vex, a the Webley, <laughs> and aim it at Borgvard, and say, "Um, now." I'm not sure he's aware, but the rest of you might want to inform me yourself that, that uh, Lord Borkvard, as he may be, is a guest of my house, and he will do as I say. Borkvard, sit your ass down and shut up for a moment. There's a uh, gun How about you shut your... the hell up, sir, because there's, there's some weird stuff going on here. Head. You hear a gunfire. You want to die? All of you are taken back at gunfires. A gun fucking fires? Okay, I'm sorry. Are we not all deaf at this moment? Is it the no. gun... Yes. There is, there is a, uh, but, um, basically, um, Lord Bexley, Borgvard, you just, you don't hear anything now because he has shot past your head. Um, <laughs> that, now, now I have one hand. I'm like a CK2 character all over. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Lord, and Lord Bexley then kind of, you see him quickly th almost throw, throw is the wrong word, but he puts down his gun really rapidly and, stand back and sort of go over to one of the windows and Lady Bexley goes over to him. Oh. Bolt okay, I found someone I... knows Down. what they're doing. Hey, no, 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 no. Shut up for a second. I found out what I want to find out. I, f I got a lot of information out of that, 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 that interaction. I found out what I want to find out, what I wanted to find out. Okay. But we are clueless and you're just behaving badly right now for us yeah. <laughs> okay so That's in okay. for this entire time from my point of view you guys have all been fucking insane so get on the trough <laughs> <laughs> it's got a point there is multiple perspectives he does. looking at this here he does. um 
and uh, you guys don't hear. Well, actually, give me a listen check. Okay. Are you sure? I think I might pass on that one. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, Borgvard, not you. I mean, uh, those of you that are kind of nope. more nervous. <sighs> no. No. Wow. I'm looking for a hard one. So, Artemis, you do hear the rest of the conversation, but uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll just find so. You I'm hear... sorry. When it's only me that hears things, no one has to take off the earphones. But whenever I don't know something, suddenly everyone's because <laughs> you're you're getting like one extra sentence. Okay, I've been, Our, I've been in like ten minutes of this game. Can I have this thing? Uh. Uh. So you hear Lord Bexley say almost to himself, "Why are they here?" And then. And then re say to him, no, 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 it's okay. And then Lady Bexley comes over and, says, and also says sort of si similar condoling words. And then what the rest of you hear is... You can take a breath for a moment and then go... So like I said, do you want my help or not? Uh, yes, please. Yes. Without well, the guns you preferred. know I want your help. Please. I have a <laughs> shit-eating grin on my face. <laughs> I'm just going to say, uh, sorry about Lord Gunderson, and I'm going to put my left hand on his shoulder. On whose sh uh, which Left hand Borg on... Borg on, on who? Left hand on Borgvard's shoulder. I, Borgvard, I, as... As Bobby puts his left hand on your shoulder, you can see again. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> can I still... I, I, I look up to the room. You don't see any outlines? You bastard! <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look distraught, and I'm gonna sit down. As you sit down, your vision goes again. <laughs> Bobby, put your hand back on his shoulder. You don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna put my hand on the top of his head instead because he sat down. As his hand returns to your body, Bogbard, your vision turns to normal again. <laughs> Do my eyes just like go? Whoop, 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 whoop. It's kind of a slower fade, but essentially yes. Bobby, what do we see? Duct tape your hand to Borkvar. <laughs> Make him go calm. So the rest of you, What's the uh, if you want to try and notice this, it, it'll be an easy spot hidden. But yeah. or, or, but like the more that it's happening, it's less. Can like, we see you... his eyes change? Perchance. Essentially, they clear, <laughs> they clear up, that and stuff. they go. It's it's quite easy to see, to be fair, now that it's been done multiple times. But uh, as Bobby touches him, the eyes come clear and mm. thing, and uh, and reflecting. And um, just, just slap his hand away. <laughs> <laughs> and then, but um, Theodore is just staring at Mr. Quirk now, kind of with a smirk, like. You've been granted a gift, sir. Yes. Um, well, friend, I suppose. The... This. Um, Bennett Maxwell, if you were looking for a name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Dr. Maxwell. Yeah. Well, it seems Maxwell likes at least one person in this room. <laughs> Doesn't necessarily hate us, but I apologize a lot. I uh beg to differ, Mr. Compagnie. And it looks again at <laughs> oh <Borgard>. boy. <laughs> um Understandable. Hmm. That might take a while I, to resolve. I, I, but I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll I'm saying under my breath, I've been granted a gift. <laughs> <laughs> um He quite literally lost his head about it. Well, uh Clifton. Would you make sure that one, my firearm is returned to where it's meant to be, and two, would you possibly go and well, go into my room and go to my side cabinet? I believe we had another necklace. I believe one of the group is without currently. It would help if we could all see so um, see clearly, so to speak. For now, uh, uh, two, work, I guess. isn't it, Bobby? Uh, 
Yep. Would you, for now, hold hands with Miss Sheffield? Can? Or if she's uncomfortable holding hands, I can... I don't know, I just put my hand out. She needs... <laughs> <laughs> Um, We're in like an area with like sofas and shit, no? Yes. Yeah, I'll just like sit next to him. We can we're hold in the, hands. We're in the main hall. Okay, so as you grab his left hand. This uh, is the 20th man. We're basically married now, but carry on. Uh, <laughs> as, as you grab. As you hold his left hand with the symbol and the burns, you can now see Hartwell. Again. Right. Again. Yes. Yeah, but you see all of him. Yeah. Everyone yeah. can see you now, Hartwell. You see too much. Oh no. You look like hell. Actually, yeah. uh, that's the first yeah. thing I've agreed with. Uh, that he, was, what he, said. he was fired for a gravestone. Mm. Oh, it was. It was you. With a plank. Graves as well. uh, plank is that new. Too. Something. Well, it's not best we start at the beginning, perhaps. M might, might we go back to the planking? Best you should. And I, 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 I don't know. I'm going to start to explain the past few days. Okay. So you begin to, as a group, collectively inform Theodore uh, of the entire week, shall we say, uh, yeah. so far, including uh, the happening uh, at the, the, the end. what three <laughs> days that we've had. Three, yeah. three days and one evening. Feels yeah. like a lifetime because. There's mm. so much happening, but everything... Oh, hey, hey. Hey. Of course, if any of you take off the medallions, that's it, I'm disappearing again. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, here, no, while, while this is saying, after about uh, 20 minutes, Clifton comes in, he gives Artemis another necklace. This one is uh, almost like dog tag shape on a little brass... Um, on a little brass sort of cutout and on a uh, silver chain. Uh, but he gives gives it to you, and um, you can now let go of uh, Bobby Quirk's hand and see Hartwell. Um, so... <laughs> and you inform Theodore of everything, and then finishes it. And he turns to Lady Bexley, and he goes... And... Bennett mentioned the diary. Well, yes, he did. I thought it was quite peculiar, because I don't know who has it. Yes, nor do I. I don't think anybody does. Why, well, I didn't. I wouldn't think it was one of the Order, either. Well, if it was one of the Order, they would have made it known. I mean, I can make some phone calls, but uh, I doubt they'll be forthcoming anyway. What about well, it seems we're in quite the predicament here, ladies and gentlemen. Um. Okay. Ah. Uh, So, I think whoever, whomsoever has the diary might also be your, well, your murderers. Yeah. And as Hartwell says, he saw two people, I use the plural. Well, I saw one. I got hit in the face by the other. Essentially. And unless that first person you saw is now another victim, I would say that there's two of them. Yeah. We did find a trail of them walking off further into the woods. We left a mark for them. The trail's probably gone at least a little bit. Little cut. There should still also be getting... some flags, but yeah. yeah. It's also very much getting dark out, mm. so. Uh, and I'm by no means. hard time tracking them at night. No. And I would prefer to uh, heal up, so to speak. Not to mention, there is also it's still a. 28, 30 days. <laughs> There's also the still this one. dog out and out and about, which is it's uh, mm. proven we can kill it, but it can you, fly. You did yeah. say you'd injured it quite badly, though. Mm. I've hunted but it things still disappears. That, I've hunted things that have well <clears throat> been quick, but not flown at such a speed and been so 
And how Innovation do you track didn't something? have any wings. I don't know. There was that yeah. time that um, oh, what was his name? Uh, that private in your company shot down that glider <laughs> with just his rifle. Uh, well, that so it is did possible. It, did it not have wings, or could we just not see the wings? I mean, I got a very, very good credit. It did not have. It didn't, it didn't have wings. No. <laughs> I'm not sure not being able to see things. I'm not sure that but, glider uh, could have uh, hit, knocked us off of a road. Or knocked anything. <laughs> Is there your... any questions I can answer? Does your order know anything about what happened 20 years ago? Oh, I'm afraid not. Uh, we were and are investigating, but uh, it's still a dead end. Now that we have this information that was not privy to us before, uh, that uh, Bennett has shared i believe that some of the order would uh be able to make better grounds now that, that we know what we're looking for essentially when what's was the, the last purpose time of someone had to sorry i missed both of those go ahead Artemis. what's the purpose of your order well that's a that's a funny question in itself um <sighs> protect i guess Protect what? Not... Or Protect whom? What? People. Um, okay. Protect from what? As my wife may have already mentioned, that the knowledge that we hold is um, not the most safe. So we tend to devote ourselves to one, it's upkeep and it's uh, rememberal. Uh, it's memorial. Not, I can't think of the word. It's um, memory. Memory, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> and I need to conjugate keep it. it. <laughs> keep it learnt knowledge, but at the same time keep that knowledge away from the vast majority. This knowledge would it have anything to do with the stories I've heard in Java and in America? Quite possibly. Um but I wouldn't say they were to do with our order. But there are many orders, and there are many beyonds, and there are many beings. So, uh, any number of things. I, I assure you that this could exist anywhere on this fine earth. What was Bourne yeah. going to say? I wanted to know when the last time the diary was seen. Last time the diary was seen was probably about a hundred years ago now. Where was it? It was in the hands of the head of our order. Yeah. Well, you've all met him. Um, Maxwell. Not all of us. Huh. Which I do have his have his image scarred into my mind. Dear face or put who? Dear face. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, I just, I just look to a um. <laughs> I just looked at field and said, you get used to it, unfortunately. And is Mr. Bell part of your order or protected by your order? Because, Even. yes, because uh, well, uh, um... some of the villagers may well pick up pitchforks and torches. Oh gosh, now. of course. They were talking about it at the wake. Yes. So, if you are protecting him, I would suggest you do so. Uh... Stephen is but a contracted hired help. We use him nothing more than for his photographs. And so he you're going to throw him to the wall because he's outlived his usefulness. I didn't say that at all. I'd, I'd, he's an innocent in all of this. I'll, I'll make some phone calls. Right. See if I can get his house watched, but um My apologies for my touchiness. No no, it's a special day. Could we not simply ask the Reverend for, uh, uh not footface, that's not the right uh Maxwell. <laughs> footface is not either of them. The Could doctor we not simply ask, ask Dr. Him Maxwell where the diary is if he was the last one who's known to have it. We literally I... spoke to him. <sighs> okay, so um it he 
if he doesn't know where it is... Yeah. Well, if he said that it would be in the diary, either... And... He knows it's missing. He knows it's missing, and he's told us he that it's missing. He knows it's missing, he's told you that it's missing, he's being a leak about it. He's he doesn't know where it's it... missing. One would assume, yes. But he was embarrassed that it was missing when he was alive, let alone when he was dead. So it went missing before he died, then? Yes. I have a question and about just, like, my understanding of the information that we've taken so far, because I think Lady Maxwell said that there was 12 members. 12 members that had gifts. Right, okay, okay. We I only know I, of right, a few. Okay. There's, there's, uh, right. uh, deer face, foot hoof, tentacle <laughs> arms, uh, dude upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Three other hooded figures. <laughs> Yeah, but we don't have we don't do we do we get any specifics on them or was just can we figures? can I ask if that still either the vicar a lot or a deacon are part of this? Because the church clearly has impact on your own. The vicar has nothing to do with our order. The deacon, however, does. Oh. Mm. It did seem less than forthcoming. Well, we all have to be quite naturally. Um, look, I really shouldn't have even told you that, so keep it to yourself, Theodore, yes? With all due respect, does he have a, does he have if, a we're gonna, if we're helping with this, we need you to trust us. Some of us. Are... Well, uh, it's not just down to me, and I don't have the best sway with everyone, shall we say. Hmm. There are, there are certain lengths, there are so certain ranks, there are certain levels, and I have to abide by them. Otherwise, things might happen. Who's number two? The question would be, who's number one? No, we know who number no, one is. No, we know who number one is, that's that it. We are number one. He's the leader of the order. The, the well, he leader. was when he no, was he alive. he was the leader. He referred That's to him as the he referred to him as the leader. Oh my in god. Current tense. Oh my Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had current tense. Mm. You specifically referred to him as the leader in the current in, in the Yeah, the, I yeah. the way Present I interpreted tense. it was he is the leader. Yeah. And I didn't. <laughs> uh no, I meant that as he was the leader that had the book. But so there's not. The, so then, not if the that's that, if leader. that's not the case, who is the current leader? Oh, you said the leader a hundred years ago, not meaning the leader had it a hundred years ago. You mean the person that was the leader a hundred years ago? Yes. Right. Oh my god. Okay. I, so okay. who's no. yes? Who's Sorry, the leader a... in the present tense? I can't tell you that. Why not? Okay, so what rank are you? Oh. Uh, I am, um... On a scale of 1 to 12. <laughs> How many members it's, are there? There are... That I can't tell you either. Uh, there are... There are... Four ranks. I am rank three. One being the best. Hmm. So you are one up from the bottom. Okay. Yes. Right, so what I'm I'm guessing those initiations. You'd be correct. But so... most fraternal societies have those. Hmm. Was the diary last seen in Christ? Alright, so who's taking the initiation right first? <laughs> what are the prerequisites? I, I'm I may be halfway to hacked. The way <laughs> If we're we're looking at this we're we're basically playing CK two here. When I hover over Order of the Red Lady what are the list of prerequisites? <laughs> does, um, not ha does not have one arm trait. <laughs> it's not named. Has lunatic trait. <laughs> does not have any of the, does not have any of the traits maimed, one armed lunatic. <laughs> Blind. <laughs> Must have seen shit. Well check. Mm -hmm. yeah. So was the Not was, quite that easy. Uh, was the diary last seen in think right one? Well the diary. I'm just was... glancing over the fact that we need to join this cult, man. The diary was, um, said it was, it over was years ago. yes, it was misplaced or stolen. Um, 
about a century ago. Nobody's seen it since. But it's clearly here in St. Crateron, otherwise we wouldn't have the dog, we wouldn't have the dead deer. Well, clearly, but that's beyond... <sighs> it could have left and come back. Didn't so... even stay in here this whole time. I have a question. Do you have any other lesser books in the premises? Well, similar books, yeah. but of... We saw one, didn't order. we? Level, have you got any <laughs> level three? Level three books. That that seems like like a yeah. That was if that's a quality five item. Do we have a quality three or four in the house? We have books of knowledge in the house. I believe you may Did have you already seen here? one. What to what end? I want to look at. I don't want to read them. I want to look at the book. Okay. I have a follow-up question. Clifton, get her book. Smug-ass look because Clifton's doing Hang something on. for me. Hang on. Her book? Her book. Um, hmm. okay. your question, sir. What do you know about the Blackstone Forest? Because Black apparently Spoon our Forest. good friend here got clogged over the head there and the tracks following like people into with tracks moving further into the blackstone and a blackstone usually refers to something um the blackstone forest gets its name due to a large blackstone well, yes, Harpo, yes. you got the name on the head all, it, uh, in, in the, the center it's there is there, an... Artemis. There's I, an old area. I had predicted this. Of large bloodstones mm. uh, in a circlet. Um, it was. It's been there since druidic times, and uh, there's bloodstone on the. That's what the statue is made of, right? Correct, Miss Sheffield. I didn't. I deliberately tried to put more Kent into my accent so that All you right. would stop picking up on me saying things in character when I'm clearly not. Well, I'm talking in character right now, so I just assumed it was a character question. I'm trying to ask you as the DM if I'm remembering something correctly. Yes, you are. Um, there, yes, there's a blood. There's a bloodstone circlet in the forest. Um, other than that, the forest used to go all the way up to the bogs. The, the town is built essentially in the Blackstone Forest. Uh, and that's all about it. It's got no relevance to the Order, if that may, if that's what you're asking. No, but it might have relevance to now. the other occurrences. Possibly, possibly. If you're saying it's a druidic circle. Indeed. There's quite a lot of pagan stuff here for at the south of England. Hmm. There's quite, the, the, it's, it's quite a lot of pagan stuff everywhere if you look hard enough. Oh, no, I'm very much used to it. Just I'm used to a more higher concentration further northwest. Is your order responsible for the symbols on the trees in Fright Forest? I don't know. What symbols did you see? Uh, the uh, um, Kalinjan cross, the... Like a, a Celtic wheel, the why well, the the, the, the very the, the very sort of uh, emblem of your house burned into a tree. You saw All the of symbol them. of the Bexleys. Yes, in Friars Forest. Five trees surrounding the clearing, each with their own symbol burned. We couldn't, we couldn't find one of the last one. It was too high up. Well, that's news to me. Um. Could this uh, be used? I... Used. Used in I whatever spells think... or magics. I wouldn't think so. The there's, there's nothing. There's nothing occult about our house sigil. It was given to us by the um, by the crown. It's it's not something that we made up. Hmm. And. Is, do you know of any occult goings on in the history of St. Crayfawn or its surrounding area? <laughs> A psychology check. <laughs> uh, 
I mean, go for it, but he's about oh, to open these things. Oh, God. Burst the blood vessel of your brain. What I the mean, fuck is going on here? Yeah, a fumble. Uh, a couple fumbles today. Yeah, you get a nosebleed. God's <laughs> sake. It's, my um, shoot's already ruined, but you know. That reminds me, I'm filthy and sitting on the above Let's just tree. say, <laughs> a cult, as you put it, and St. Craithorn go hand in hand. I have that feeling. And this is since the 1500s. Huh. <laughs> Early, I presume. Or a lot longer. How much do you know about the story of St. Craythorn? We know that it was supposedly a desolate land until St. Craythorn himself blessed the place, created fertility. Now, how do you think he got those powers? Yeah, I've been wondering that myself. Uh, I think you just answered all of your own question. Oh, good. Yeah. So it's a town... Founded by these gifts. Founded by the occult. So does every, just like, backfield saint in across the aisles have some kind of connection to these magics, or... I is wouldn't that say everyone. Most... Some of them are just hacks who try to play off religion, you know. Oh, as, good. Such as... You wouldn't happen but, to uh, know. Don't be surprised if... There's some truth in whatever you read. Well, a cult it... is just a term used for that which isn't <clears throat> formalized and secular. The only difference by between science. a religion and a cult is the size. You wouldn't oh, happen to Mr. know what oh. was in the other four windows in the church. I don't see how that information will help your case. Fair enough. It's interesting, though. It is. Because the figure like doesn't Like I said, know. we're here to, uh... Keep information hidden. I can't be telling you all our secrets now, can I? That is fair, but I'm assuming you had part of it in removing them. Every... I well, had like you personally. With... I but... had nothing to do with removing them your group might have just to keep secrets which i can understand they are ours after all and the vast amount of money your house has been pouring into the church over the centuries well that would be my family i am not one for putting money into the group i'm barely happy to be a part of it but if i don't comply Let's just say, I need to comply. So you're part of the order by family, more than by personal choice? Correct. Hmm. Has your father put you through this? And his father before him, and his father before him, all the way back. There was no choice. Nope. The Order wants to keep its hold over the influential and members the of the town. It's more the fact that the Bexley family wants to keep its ties to the Order. And as the only heir, only male heir, I, uh, I had to be the one. For fuck's sakes, one of those orders, bloody Masons, yeah. fuck off. I've said fraternal order multiple yes. times. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, I was holding out some distant now, hope. if you only have a daughter distant. and you matrilineally marry her to someone who's in the order, then your children will pass on. <laughs> oh my god. Wanna yeah. everyone else join and I'll just marry someone. <laughs> I mean, I'll be already married. <laughs> 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 but we quickly join the order. <laughs> if you marry right. me, you get to be a baroness. That's not Can very you... high, but it's all I got. <laughs> and live in the Nordic wastelands, yes. Hey, I'm nah, wait, wait for They've a duke. They've got moose. <laughs> you can, you can farm lichen up there. <laughs> oh boy, lichen. <laughs> <laughs> Can't joke. Well, where I'm from, we, we farm seaweed. I'm actually a botanist as well. So. Anyway, you'll, uh, you'll be liking where you're going then. 
Oh, so Lady, God, Lady Bexley bad. turns to Leo and she goes, Well, where should we start looking? Ah. Uh, if you don't mind me and interjecting. Has Clifton gotten back yet? Clifton's been in the room for a, a while. If you don't mind me interrupting, a, um, I'd quite like a. It, I quite like to look, look at the forest again in the morning. If we can find those people who attacked a uh, forest and did whatever to him, they uh, they seem connected to this. For all we know, it could be them using the, they could be them in possession of this book to summon this hound. As I doubt we can hunt it conventionally, and what's to stop them? I don't know. Summoning perhaps another another one of them, or something worse. And stop um, kidnapping kids. Was Dr. Maxwell not aware of who entered the tomb? Unfortunately, no. Uh, until the seal is broken, uh, he is entombed. Uh, but I think Byron's right. Hartwell, do you remember anything about your attackers? Uh, the, I was following... You're going to laugh, Theo, but I was following a woman. <laughs> You're right, I am going to yeah. laugh. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Reminds of me of Burgundy. <laughs> I got into trouble then as well. <sighs> oh, that was fun. Uh, I, I was, was following... Trouble a lot. Yeah. Had to disappear. Had to disappear for a while. Um, I was following this woman. She was wearing a blue cloak. She went into the tree line. I followed her. I never got closer than about, say, 100 feet. Uh, past a tree, next thing you know, I've got a plank in the face. Cloaks like one we saw, um, Maxwell wear. Or the ones the photo sh showed. They're the same thing. Ah, lovely. Uh, are you sure it was blue? <sighs> yes. We were at a funeral. That's, uh... Could it be that you have rogue members of the Order? I originally thought it was Maddie, to be honest with you. It was a woman in the cloak, of course. I did say uh, that, that's... yeah. And yes, it... uh... And I, I was just concerned because she was going her. out the back of the church as opposed to the car. So, I originally thought it was Maddie, but... Sorry, Maddie, I was wrong. She, oh, no, it's fine. Um, I, 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 they both look very concerned. They give each other kind of an eye. Um, what about the person who hit you? Do you recognize anything about them? Could you describe? Yes, uh, about six foot, flat, pale, felt kind of woodeny. <laughs> <laughs> Not Bexley. You said the only male heir. You wouldn't happen to have a sister. Compagnie, no, this isn't the time. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> That's right. Yes, I do have a sister. Uh, she... Are you in contact with her? Yes, yeah, she lives in America. You're 100% sure? I am 150% sure she lives in America. You can't okay. give up 100%. Just scientists think. <laughs> Just scientists think. Um, <laughs> how many stones worth of percents is that? <laughs> um, I'm just checking every avenue here. Well, if it was a woman in this cloak, it's definitely not a member of the order, as you may not have. Artemis rolls her eyes. I mean, so do I. It's in the fraternal Sorry, Miss Sheffield, that's just the way it is. Things will never be the so... same. I'm understanding Lady Baxley knows but she's not part of the order. All connected ladies of the order, uh, should we say, are vetted and known to the order and they only know so much. And they know the they council, only know but so they're much. not granted the rank of master. <laughs> I mean, understandable. 
I mean, you say fetish, they're invited but... to the parties and, uh... Familiar story. They're, uh, privy to certain information, certain secrets, but there's... stuff that's only for members of the Order. Okay. Such as I'm sharing with you. Understandable. I, I'm... I am within... I'm... 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 You have to understand, I'm working in very much a grey area here, uh... And if I say too much, I could put not only all of you at risk, but myself, so... I understand. Because there's already been a number of injuries <laughs> on our side. Hmm. And you I'm just trying Facebook. to figure out where this is all going. Because that, um, is, my, that is my kick. And if we... I, if we I believe do find you don't have to do some more searching. And if we do find the, those peoples with the possession of the diary, and we find they have been doing this, I assume normal law enforcement isn't who we turn them to, if we turn them to anyone at all. Well, if they turn out to be the m kidnappers and murderers, of course, take them over to, no no, to law enforcement, but make sure the law enforcement do not get that diary. Um, um, actually, there's one in law enforcement, well, there's two in law enforcement that you can trust. Who? Um... It wouldn't happen to be the inspector, would it? Transport it off. would. It would happen to be Inspector Miller, M Inspector, mm. and he seems slightly more confident the other... on than the others. Is and it Smith? The... no, it's not Sergeant Smith. Oh. I was thinking uh, the birdie one, and you're muted, Para. Is it George? I got very excited about the apples. <laughs> no, no, Trevor Stims. <laughs> I, that was my oh, that was my next yep. that was my next question because he's yep. nephew to James Stims, who I'm assuming is probably maybe also maybe something to do with the order because of at one point in time he, when he was, was part alive. of the other investigation. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm going to write that down. I mean, you can you can ask. And so should we? And so should we tell the, 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 the so, so should we tell a um the, the inspector that we need this diary and that the rest of the police should not have it? Would he understand or? I'm sure if. We were persuasive enough, but well, if if the if the diary did fall into the hands of the police, I'm sure it would find its way to us. Shall we say? Okay. It ain't finding its way anywhere but my um, hand. Query: The symbol we've now gotten is that the same symbol we saw on the tombs? Do I need to do an intelligence check? No, no. You know what the symbol you can work out was. So it was the same symbol. No, 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 no. You were you were told by Borgvar what that was. What? No, we haven't. Come again? Yes. yes. The symbol of the red lady. Yeah. yeah, it was the symbol of yeah. the red lady. I roll, oh. I roll, I roll oh. an extreme on that. That's how we got the information. Do you remember? Because you worked out that there was a there was a cup on it, and then uh, and a, like a oh, shrouded right. figure, mm -hmm. and oh. then. And right, then that was the symbol of the red lady, which is the symbol of this order that you're currently conversing with, essentially. Right. I, I don't remember right. that, but I have tons of lies at the time, so you know. No, it's also. It, I was thinking that I was the symbol I that. saw in the church. On the tomb inside the mausoleum. On oh no, the symbol. Oh, okay, sorry, that's what you mean. On yeah. the tops of the mausoleum is the one that's around your neck. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. Yes, sorry, right. I, I okay. got where you said in the church. I no, I uh, said in, in the theme. tomb. Yeah, I didn't hear tomb. I heard church. Oh. Sorry, that's my oh, bad. Oh, now um, I'm even right. more confused. Okay, right. okay. All right, on, all right, Wait. on the on the on the sarcophagi when they lit up. Those that symbols. was that was the elder sign. So where the was symbol the symbol of, of the red lady? On in the, the church on one of the flagstones. No, ah. on the four tombs on the oh. floor. Oh, yeah, the four tombs. Yeah, okay. That's where I was. Okay. That's where the confusion gotcha. was. Multiple yep. tombs here with multiple things on. <laughs> yeah, uh, yep, yep, yep. So yep. many damn rocks and stuff to put symbols on. A, a graveyard with multiple tombs. Funny that, a Masonic <laughs> order with carvings in stone. Mm. Uh, <laughs> well, this sounds awfully familiar. <laughs> it's just, it's, you know, it just kind of sums up what they are. Right. I have, um, a, um, I have a question about the church. Am I... Um, is my understanding correct that there are catacombs under the church? Yes, there are. Uh, Do they have any particular significance to your order? Somewhat. There are a Catacombs. number of 
here in rural England? Is it? Yeah. Is the church built on top of something else? It's on oh, a massive yeah. hill. Quite often. Remember. Well, I know it's on a hill, but, but I'm just. Uh, a lesser oh, yeah. structure. So the in the. So uh, okay. The catacombs have a number of members of the order, an old more members of the order buried in there, but they also have people that were privy from the town and from the time and people that were buried before then. The catacombs go quite deep, and I believe there's also some foundations to some of the original parts of the original church there. That's I'm gonna whip out my it. map. <laughs> my it's, built, it's built on an ancient Indian burial ground, but that's only a thing that happens here. Well, ancient are, Celtic are, are, you, are you gonna... Yeah. There you go. Are you gonna... an ancient Druidic burial ground? Um, ancient Welsh built... <laughs> ancient Welsh... Oh, the big, English just want to plow that into the ocean. With their big bushy weird beards and their old faces. Why? Um, <laughs> oh, there's stuff like that in North Wales if you go there these days. Uh, okay. Take uh, on, Artemis, are, you, are, you, are you just pulling you. this map out and putting it on the table in front? Or no, I'm taking... looking at it myself. I suppose Bobby can see because he's next to me, but... Okay, I need to roll. <laughs> I'm also oh. taking interest in this but, like, piece of paper she just pulled out of no one is now looking at <laughs> intently. Yeah. Can I look at those books? Um, now where on earth did you get that? <laughs> uh -huh. Is that what you got on? while I was providing that distraction for the- You uh... don't know this, mate, because you were too busy, okay? Mm. I was doing this searching oh, while you had okay. left the room, Oh, look, okay? he's about to disappear now. <laughs> well, someone said give me a cunting distraction, so, you know. <laughs> what? Right. I, no, I, no. That what? Do you remember what happened? What? You searched for the key, got the key, and then fucked off. I stayed behind to look for this thing. Thank you very much. This is irrelevant. Just go on. The question stands now. Where on earth did you get that? Just something that we uh, picked up along the way. Um, Theodore. Puts out his hand. May I have a look? Ah, uh, I don't no. trust this geezer. <laughs> hmm. Remember, be friendly. <laughs> Quick, try and commit it all to memory before you hand it. Yeah, can I? Can I just? Can I actually have looked at We're it before no I make be this decision? To You've not told me what I've seen when I open it up properly. You s okay. Um, Can I have no. a handout? No, you I said that. You said you said you had. I I've already told you. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know what I'm seeing before I'm I, like I will, I will, <laughs> throwing it away again. Give me an intelligence roll, and I'll see how much you can see before you give it away. I didn't say I was gonna give it away, mate. I want to look at it. Okay, Can't before it's taken away, then. <laughs> so rude. Okay, so what you see is a number of rooms none of them are labeled there is just uh rooms and pathways and doors marked on the map and you get the impression that this is underneath the um underneath the church and you see that there's a number of entrances into this area one of which is below the altar in the main church there is also one in the mausoleum in which rival um which hartwell was kept in and there is also a number throughout town. So the one at the bottom of Church Street. Oh, okay. So there's mm. catacombs under everything. It's not under all of the town, but uh, up to about the line of Church Street. Uh, wait. Let me get my map. Like... Ah. The whole, like, all the way down... You now said give around. Me oh. Give me a strength roll. <laughs> no, that's like my least. My least thing. It's all high. Like I succeeded! <laughs> so, because you're resisting take him taking this map. No. I. Look, hang on, hang on. I've not said anything. I've neither confirmed nor denied my holding on to this map. You, you're you making all of these decisions. Everything, everything that on... I've asked you to sort of in the nudging of it, 
You've... I said I wanted okay. to look at the map, but you've only just described and the map I, to and, me. And then, I, and then I asked, are you going to give it to him? And you said no. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't remember saying directly no. Directly. You oh. said you did say I'm not giving it to him, though. Yet. I, I want to look at it. Well, he wanted it now. For fuck's sake. Does it um, really... This guy's a little ornery. I already proved that. <laughs> Yeah, this man did, did just try to fire a gun at someone. Exactly, uh, that's why near, I don't trust him. Near someone. And he, he you resist it for a moment while he's grabbing it. Are you gonna keep a hold of it? And he's just intently staring at you while. Do okay. Do I do I feel like um? Can I feel the tension of the paper? Yes. Twist your arm so that it tears, so you get the part with the <laughs> that we don't know yet. <laughs> so when it tears, you get that half. <laughs> no, I, 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 I'm gonna like frown at him in confusion, and yeah. I'll let go. So, yeah. But okay. I'll be like, I think you already understand. I think you already know what this is. I know exactly what it is. I'm just seeing how much is on here. Yeah, you're missing a few things. Hold on, I'll get mine. <laughs> and he, I still he goes, feel vilified for not trusting the fella. He did draw a gun on Borgbard. And uh, he goes he upstairs yeah. for a moment. Not the first time. Oh, so uh, I think he's possessed, but carry on. So, um, Borgbard, Clifton has got the book that he's bought to, like you. to look at. I would simply like to look at them. I don't want to touch them. I just it, want to see them. Okay. You don't see this book. So I can see him standing there. Yeah. And then, essentially, he, you see him holding something, but you can only tell that there's something there because of the shape of his hands. There's nothing actually visible there. Got it. Now, Not with this second, book while it's closed. Question. <laughs> second question. When he walked away and when he walked back, do I see, like, a glimmering trail of where he was? No, you do not. You do not see footprints. Do we see else. anything special about uh, Theodore Baxley at all? Well, he's left the room, but you can give me a spot hidden, I guess, on Theodore Baxley. While he's walking away. Uh, for for most people, yeah. I'm looking for a hard, but those who know him, I'm looking for just a success. Yeah. I'm what are we? Fair. What are we looking? Uh, a spot hidden. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but he's opening on extreme and knew him. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, Those who know him know him well. <laughs> Byron, uh, I'm not going to make people take their headphones off, but he's a lot paler than you remember him, and he seems to be a bit shaky. He's got very tired eyes, more so than he used to, which is saying a lot considering what you all went through. Yeah. Uh, and he looks very much drained. <coughs> Look at Lady Bexley. What has been a... Uh... Theodore doing recently. He looks worse than he did, than he did during the war. And we weren't exactly in a calm spot of Belgium. Well, after everything, everything's just kind of taken its toll on him, and he's been working himself to the bone. Hmm. And this emergency business in London, I assume, wasn't to do with... It was to do with some of his art. You mentioned that was getting more esoteric. Back when we met, was it when I first came out to St. St. Craigford? What does that mean? Well, now you're privy to some more information. Um, I'll let him explain it, but I would ask him about it. Right. Thank you. Um... Bogvard, do you want to do anything else on your expl exploring of the book? Because uh, Clifton is holding it in front of you. Yes. What would you like he, to do to he... try and investigate it? Lord Bexley is gone. Lord Bexley is gone currently. Clifton, would you kindly, would you kindly open up the tome? 
Yes, I would. And you, he opens the tome, and Bulkvard, I need you to make a sanity check. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, this is the third. third of the day? Yeah, third of the day. Third of the day. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! So, Bulkvard! <laughs> Oh, is this gonna be another he this is gonna be another earphones off moment because this is privy to information that you've already had, I'm guessing. Yeah. So oh. everybody please um, I've been in five minutes this game, I can live with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry, but uh Oh dear. Borgfard. I don't get a lot of extremes. You do not get a lot of extremes and this is not an extreme you wanted to get. How far are you of going insane? Uh, hang, hang on a sec, let me get uh so it, you're you start at your power level, yes. Yes. And you, what was it, one-fifth fifth of your total? Yeah. Uh, so that is... I'm not there yet. I got six points before I hit a fifth. Six? Six points before I hit a fifth. Oh, sir. You are temporarily <laughs> insane. You are having a bout of madness right how now. Many did, how many did I take? I want to make sure it's marked down. Six exactly. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really exactly six. So, Borgvard, what you see for now, this is all I'm going to tell you because I'm going to have to sit and work on this because we're going to, some things are going to happen. Uh, and it depends on what the party are going to do as well. So, what you hear is the same whispers of why and Borgvard and why and why. And you feel your face almost being sucked into the book. And you, and you just... And, and it just this blackness that you see consumes you and 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 it's just and it feels like you're going in you like pit, and as soon as you pierce the veil that's the last thing you remember and we're gonna go back okay yeah I was just getting Kazoo back on. Yeah. So, what you all see is Borgvard, as the book opens, sort of looking at it, which is weird considering he can't see. And then he gets just sort of physically drawn in. And before you have time to react, he's bolted out of the room. He's gone. God, I get up and start running after him. Okay. Which way did I run? You ran out of the front door. Outside. Uh, oh, right. am, I, am I still wearing <laughs> clothes? Yes, currently. Okay. Uh, Not naked but, yet. But Borgvard, you have no control of yourself right now. Oh uh, god, is that a <laughs> Alright, I'm, yeah, I'm running after him. Okay, Byron. Right, do you need straight. a hand? Uh, hey, Byron, gone. you know he's Borgvard gone. is slower than you normally. You are, you, you're a very fit person, but currently he is keeping pace, if not running faster than you. Oh yeah, I, I wouldn't be able to keep up with that. Be just like, oh, Screaming oh, obscenities in Norwegian. Uh, no, he is Damn completely it! silent. He's completely I'm... silent, head down, sprinting. Right, I'm going after him. Okay. Is there okay, anything I'm about gonna... the book we can see, or is Clifton closer? <laughs> Clifton is just, like, looking very confused. Like, um, I have not known for that effect to happen. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> mm. um... Byron, I'm going to need you to make some rolls here in order to yeah. try and catch Borgvard. This is a... Hold on, I, I need to chase the mu change the music a little bit. Um, I'm scuttling away. <laughs> is, is Willem's motorcycle outside, Benny? Uh, it's John probably in a garage. Okay, what so uh, he can what time drive. Of day is he... it while this is happening? It's, it's the night time now. Yeah, yeah. Just, it is oh. just assuming it was. Oh but... shit! <laughs> oh shit! Well, I'll try, but you know. Okay, so I need you to make strength roll. I need you to make two strength rolls and a constitution roll. Is he? Is this opposed? No. Okay. Well, right. not with you controlling oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, okay, Whoa. that's looking good. Not great. Ah. Come on. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness! Right, my okay. bad luck has just come moment. against. So, um, extremes. God, all well, that weight he lost on Malaria okay. is being real <laughs> useful right now. This is yeah. You've you, that's some. 
Not so much. Always that. look on the bright <laughs> side of trackable disease. Where's my kazoo? God damn it. No. Oh, it's no. Kazoo. No. 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 Okay. Yeah, right. So, kazoo. Byron, Byron, Byron. What do you see? You see Borkvard um, in his finery making some serious sprints here. He is like man <coughs> determined and um, he just sprints down the main driveway away from the house and you give chase and you start going and um, and and you're, you're amazed you've never seen you've barely seen anyone move this fast you're, only the fittest men at the under hell and gunfire have you seen move this fast this like you moved slower than this trying to trudge across fields being shot at uh, he is like a man possessed and you continue down the road and you, you can't catch up and it, you could, uh, he takes a left out of uh, the uh, the at the end of the driveway of basically running away from the town and you follow him down the road and he's going down, it's dark, it's the country roads for a while but you, you keep an eye on him, you're keeping pace and you're keeping up and although like you feel like that you would start tiring uh, but your adrenaline kicks in and you keep going, you keep going and then Borkvard just and you're, and you're sprinting and you're sprinting you're almost caught up to him and as you're almost caught up to him Borkvard just takes a dart right straight through a hedge into a field Ugh. It's like a Ugh. deer Oh for <laughs> god's sake, I just uh, try and j jump straight through Not straight through, but jump <laughs> through the hole easy. Okay, I'm gonna need more checks here now Okay, yeah, I'm gonna jump. need I'm gonna need a spot hidden. I'm gonna want a, a climb or a jump to try and get okay, through. Spot and hidden. I'm gonna need another strength ah, roll. No, nah, spot hidden. I probably lost him then. Make the other rolls just in case. Okay, and I'll make is it a, so a strength and a jump. Yes, jump please. Or, or 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 yeah, or climb. Whatever one's better okay, for you. Jump. Nice. And strength. Oh. <sighs> okay, you jump through the hedge and you make some gains, but then you look up and this field is just thick. It's just you can't see anything and he, he's just he, he's gone i'd almost do a listen roll as well just in case but no that my, li my listen isn't the best yeah that's fair but i'll try it anyway and whatnot. But there's you've a lost chance him. presumably there's not a trail of broken broken no, ground it's not so much him a trail of broken wonder, Norwegian it's not so much him i'm worried about right now. Yeah. but it's just me I see my guy like, again. Can't hear anything other than like crickets. Did you give a roll? Um. Yeah. I, I thought you said I'd already lost him, but okay, I'll give a go. Yeah, you've you've lost him, but you you can. Oh. Give a roll. oh. Okay. A that's only in your eardrum. Hold on. I can do whatever I want with fumbles. It's not necessarily pain. <laughs> <laughs> right. So where's that dog thing at? Physical, physical pain. <laughs> he needs. It's emotional too. You think Byron. about your cop, your high school sweetheart. You hear a She's howling. Dead. Uh, I just get I get my revolver out like of my uh, uh, of my pocket. Oh no! Are you staying where you are? Or are you bolting? I'm not right. Where's the nearest high ground from me that I can see? Bexley Hall. God's sake! Right, yeah, I'm I'm getting over the hedge again. Uh, like okay. I can't find there's no one finding Borkvard now, and I'm yep. slowly just walking through like I'm like going through the hedges like you know as I I'm knowing to, no, I'm known to, or as I'm experienced in. And slowly, carefully, like, you know, eyes out, ready to shoot something. Give me a survival out. check. Survive? Okay. Oh, no, that's base. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I haven't got a survival roll. That's 10% base, I think. Well, then, you're rolling against the 10% base. Oh, well, or so stealth. Give me stealth. That oh, I can do stealth. Work. Oh, I can do stealth. I can do stealth better. I can't do stealth. <laughs> Okay, you you get through the hedge and then, but climbing through the hedge, you make a lot more noise than you were hoping to at this point. I, what are you doing about it? Are you just going? Are you, or are you but, gonna uh, try and hide again? Uh, I'm probably gonna. I see the eye to make that roll. Ugh. You really balanced out those extremes there towards the end. <laughs> you, yeah, you know, my luck. To put it bluntly, is a prick. So essentially, what, what, what right. I'm asking is, are yeah. you wanting to run away, or do you want to try and push your stealth roll? Pushing is going to go badly for me. I'm going to keep, I'm just going to violence, I'm going to be making a lot of noise, I'm going to just violently push through the hedge, and with like, you know, gun out. Give me one more strength and one more con. Bad. 
Yeah, Ooh. you're fine. You make it. You are running with all the adrenaline and all the anxious nook. Uh, anxious. I've read reading nook on the screen. Uh, <laughs> all mm. the all the anxiety. I really and you make it back jumps. to. <laughs> really and you make it back to Bexley Hall, out of breath, at the main door, and you look back at yourself. Uh, look back down the um, down the pathway, and you just see a shape go running past. I, I just fire. I've got my gun out. I'm nervous for it. I just fire vaguely at it. The whole do okay. everything. Everything. Oh, I had my I had gun ready. I had a gun ready. Roll, roll an attack. Yeah. Ooh. You fire into the that? darkness. Yeah. Do we hear that gunshot? Everyone inside, you have just heard a gunshot. Right, I'm heading out uh, to the front door because oh, uh, that was sounded. That was Lord Bexley and uh, pistol out. out, and I, I will pull out my gun and, as well. And you will notice Clifton go to a cupboard under the stairs and then return um, in a moment with a Lewis gun. Uh, right. What? <laughs> you got a license for that? <laughs> I'm not. He's got a Lewis go. gun, oh. <laughs> and he's carrying it. <laughs> wow! Why don't you bring uh, a howitzer? It'd be much Clifton easier. Knows. I am back on board the Clifton bandwagon. That guy is awesome. <laughs> I just heard a. I couldn't find Borkfront. I just heard the hound. I just saw it go past. Get oh, in the damn car, and I'm piling into my a. Uh, You're going bike. in the car. Yeah. Okay. It's, um. It's, I'm in the passenger seat. Right, right. Wait there. for me. I'll get in. Is is it not better to stay here at defendable uh, a defendable ground? Probably. Well, but where's your sense of adventure? Do you leave it back in? I don't. Know, Belgium. <laughs> I mean, defendable but ground is what we were good at for four yet. years. Uh, there's things only wrecked one car. Uh, yeah. Revenge. So, okay, Revenge you for your wheel. Are you guys getting in the car? We've done nothing for the entire four hours. I want to shoot something. <laughs> it's really escalated. Really? Let's go. I'm not because there's, I there's don't think only that I'm going to be okay. going off on a gunfight. Okay. Who go. is remaining at Bexley Hall and who is going? I don't have a gun, so <laughs> I'm going. There are definitely well, you guns. you stay with your wife then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm happy with that. I need someone to stay and look after me. Damn it. We'll uh, Maddie, we'll, Maddie, hunting. Maddie, we'll, we'll going hunting. We'll read some books. Right. Yeah, we'll, we'll do some research. Come on, see, give me that, Lewis. <laughs> um, Borkvard, are you staying or going? Borkvard's run away. Borkvard's gone. Borkvard's running. Borkvard is definitely going. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. It's kind of up to you, isn't it? I was, for a second there, I was like, wait, 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 wait. What oh, yeah, happened? Borkvard is coming back. Oh, we changed. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Sorry. Uh, Hello, Midge. Is he staying or going? Don't <laughs> worry. Uh, <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, oh my god. Okay, well, if you're going, I will come with you. Um, just give, give me a moment, okay? Um, okay, uh, Clifton, uh, you stay here, set up. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, Maddie, uh, you know what I said about the sigils, start that. Uh, gentlemen, let's get ready. And then, uh, Uh, those of you who are going, let me know. Let, again, just... Okay. Those of you who are going, uh... You notice that... Th uh... Lord Bexley goes to that same cupboard under the stairs and comes back with a number of bandoliers. Oh dear. <laughs> and about five Enfields. Nice! Oh! Gimme! Gimme! I'm better with a revolver myself, but I'll drive. You'll drive! Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll stick with my pistol. It's a, it's a my rifle. Pistol. Well. Came back Give me an That's basically ammunition. Gives you, a, gives, you, rifle. Gives, you an, gives you an SMLE Mark IV and a bandolier. And I um, take my, my arm out of my sling and go, ow! Oh. You <laughs> note as well as what, uh, as, yep, what, what you also notice is, um, <laughs> uh, Clifton has gone kind of to the staircase uh, and start, and he's pulled like some carts together and he's now, a he's got the Lewis gun on a tripod aimed at the front door. <laughs> Don't um, tell me he's going to do like, uh, you know, um, Nordberg out of Lethal Weapon. <laughs> oh, no, um, make, uh, yeah. 
police squad or whatever and starts going and ends up with Emily yeah, Howitzer or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what you're meaning. But, um, so he's there he, and he's also got a Brody helmet on now. He's gone and got his helmet. Um, nice. uh, just r real quick aside, how old is Clifton? We Clifton don't know. is in his 40s. Oh, like so was, physically okay. looking. So he is plenty old enough to have served the entire fucking war. Yeah. Indeed. And those of and you... And he's been looking for his next one ever since. <laughs> <laughs> those, those of you that know uh, the Bexleys know that uh, or who, who know a little bit about lordship as well. Quite often lords, if they went to war, took their aides with them. Um, no. Shall we say. Um, somebody had to serve him tea. Did, I ever, meet, did I ever meet, say, uh, Clifton? Yeah, probably. Did he always uh, carry the trench gun around? <laughs> no, you never saw him with a weapon. Okay. Because whenever you point. saw... Uh, whenever you saw him, it would be like doing paperwork and stuff. Okay. But anyway, so yes, those who are going and want to take a rifle say aye. There's enough. Aye. I'm going to stick with my handgun. Same. Okay. Aye. Bobby, are you coming with? No, I'm staying. Okay. He's staying would you with like his a... wife. <laughs> would you like a rifle anyway? Um. For protecting the house? I'm not very good, but I mean, if there's one on offer, I'll try. Okay. And um, what um, are the damage modifiers to this? Uh, they're in the book, I believe. Um, I don't uh, know, in, I'll find them for what you. Book? Yeah. This one, give me a second. The one that you have the PDF for when we created the characters, I believe. It's, it's um, pinned in chat. It's pinned yeah. in the chat, but uh, uh, if, if, if you find page. them. Um, Where is it? Where is, is it? what? Where okay. Is it? <laughs> another thing that he uh, hands to you, then, Willem, if you want to take them, is a number of hand grenades. Oh, uh, gimme, gimme, that gimme! Requires, that requires strength, right? It's a foe roll, it's its own skill. Yeah. Oh, gimme, well, okay. gimme, um, gimme, gimme! I'll have them. Yeah, I'll take them. The thing wrecked <laughs> my car. Gimme. Okay. I'll take, well, I'll take uh, a couple of hand the grenades. The thing is, it's, it's kind of, if you've got a rifle, you wouldn't normally have a hand grenade. Okay, the I'll take he wrecked my car. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but he's only got three, so I'll share them out between. I'll, take, I'll take one, I'll take one. Okay, I'm so share them out between. So, so, right, we can have one. Um, Thank you. But, and uh, um, Lady Bexley comes back, Artemis, and she does. She she comes out and gives you a gun. Uh, she gives you a um, a, okay. uh, uh, a, a no no a um no nine eleven forty five automatic. Yes, a cop. A gun. Uh, it's a M1, M1 911. Um, yeah. Same, same same gun. This one's M quite simple. M one nine eleven. Yes, it's, yeah. it's a pistol. Um, oh! Yeah, it's so one D10. I've quite... never heard someone that excited to see it. <laughs> it's quite easy. You just pull the trigger and aim at a person, and normally they go down. So, uh, and you, 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 you notice that this one's quite nice, and it's got a little bit of a, a, a customized grip on it. That's um, why I said, oh, because I thought... Does it, does the, it say Madison in it... filigree? It oh has an God. M on it. In <laughs> oh, fuck, I was on, kidding. On, on white ivory hand grips. Um, oh, shit, son. Yeah, I know. I, I can visualize this perfectly. Um, yeah. And it's shiny silver as well. It's, it's, this is more of a showpiece, but it fires. Mm. It's uh, oh, yeah. I think I've, I have this gun in GTA 5. <laughs> oh, yeah. like, can I take a practice? Like, a couple hours. I, oh, of course aim? you can. Are you going to fire it in the house? I'm, no, I'm pretty. I mean, I'm guns like, are fired in this aiming. house a lot, apparently. But, oh, okay. uh, yeah. How many uh, holes are in the ceiling yeah, of like, this room? Yeah, now that we're looking for them. <laughs> <laughs> you see a number of bullet holes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, okay, um, and then you see Maddie grab the book that uh, was shown to Borkvard and start going over to windows and doors and starts doing some stuff and speaking in a language that you don't quite understand. Um, mm. uh, and then... Uh, Lord Bexley takes off his uh, his jacket, rolls up his sleeves, and goes, "Right, are we going then?" Yep, let's go hunting. We've been waiting for years. I'm just getting into the, into the car, just hunting. getting ready to go. Now, just out of and... curiosity, are you guys specifically hunting for what you think is the beast, or are you looking for me still? Well, you know, <laughs> oh, a bit of both. Little column A, little column B. Yeah. <laughs> if we find you, Same these page. will be useful. There you go. Okay, sorry. Yep, that's Bitch. still true. Uh, rival, I've seen um, the damage to the rifle. Cheers, bro. And... Just put it into uh, Discord, I'll take it from there. And 
uh, Lord Bexley turns to um, to Clifton. He says, uh, "Clifton, if anything comes through that door and it doesn't knock the way I knock, you know what to do." And also, um, hold on, I need to get. They not be getting late night posts then, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm probably going to have a very bad day. The milkman's about to have a... <laughs> <laughs> cool. Give Bernard a ring. Get him, get, him a gr get him to get a group together. People he can trust. Tell us... And, and tell him to do exactly what I'm doing. And you know what I'm doing. All right, gentlemen, let's go. And with that, right. we will end it here for this week. Damn it. Fucking knew it. <laughs> no. Knew it. Ah! Right. Kazoo, you got those so, damage figures, buddy. Uh, yeah, As I well, your Discord. I believe oh, we yeah, are not, yeah. we're not playing next week either. No, we're no, not. not. Right, so I don't suppose we so, need to be out away in the next hour. Um, I mean, you can keep going a little bit, but there's a lot of things unfolding that I kind of would like to prep for. Ah, uh, that's, that's fair. Um... Oh. Uh, it would, for no, example, I would like you know. to that's prep you. what, what Borgvard is doing, uh, <laughs> and I'd like to prep uh, stuff that you might uh, oh, encounter. Oh, fine. I want, I, I want to be able to make next session then. I, I'll, steal, I'll steal a laptop. I, I'm, I'm. So yeah, the I'm next time we are playing, twelfth, right? Yeah, but I have to go back. Oh, before. yeah. The next time we are playing oh. will be yeah. the twelfth when I'm back 12th. in Wales. About my PC. Hold on. Yeah, it will be the twelfth, which is the because hold on, I need to. My ah. calendar's being weird. So yeah, we next. Can't is... play. Week after that, week after that. So and then. So I yes, it will be the twelfth, and then the nineteenth. I will be in Germany. Yep. Oh, of course you will. Yes. Yep. So it will be another two weeks after next week. Should the case we not can't pass. we can't play the twenty sixth either. No, we can't. <laughs> so it's... <laughs> so if um... it doesn't get finished on the twelfth, if we if we don't get to a uh, point on the twelfth, it will be the second before we play again. Okay. Yeah. Of November. Right. So we might in the coming weeks have to talk about an extra session or two then. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. going to be the case. I will uh, find a time we'll make it. Yeah. So I will be talking to you all about that. But for, thank you for everybody who's been watching tonight on either things are. And yes, it's 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 been a good blast. I think a lot was uh, discovered hell. about the case this time. <laughs> and yes, yeah, so we will see you in two weeks time unless you hear differently on various discords or announcements. So uh, thank you all, and thank you to all these guys for joining me. Let's do the shout-outs this time. And first of all, on the shout-out, I'm going to give it to Kazoo because he didn't get one last time because I was an idiot. Uh, so Kazoo, you can find him on Twitch at Kazoo Raptor. He does stream again. Uh, he does a lot of uh, painful games like Dark Souls. Uh, I don't know why. I balanced it out. I had some cute Lego Falls of action. Okay, because you on. like torturing but, yourself, mate. Yeah, he, he's a massive <laughs> so he plays I partially well. resent this. <laughs> uh, the next person I'm going to be shouting out is Rival, who is uh, uh, Mr. Lord Forest Hartwell, who is currently five subscribers away from 1K. And that 1K is a big margin on YouTube these days. So if you haven't already, please go sub to him on YouTube. You can find him at youtube.com forward slash Rival's Own Gaming. Uh, or just search Rival's Own Gaming in Google, and he will be the one that comes up. Uh, next up, obviously, Benjamin Magnus Game, our crazy Borkvard man who has since run off into the darkness. You can catch him at uh, Benjamin Magnus Games on YouTube, Benjamin Magnus 2 on YouTube, and twitch.tv forward slash Benjamin Magnus. You can only um, catch him if you're fast enough. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely <laughs> true. Uh, and then we've also got Mr. Voost. You can find him at oh. Mr. Voost. And um, yeah, yeah, you can search that. And he's pretty much the only one that comes up if you put up with that. And then finally, we've got Paracombelian. Uh, you can find her on twitch.tv forward slash Paracombelian. Uh, her link has probably appeared in my chat, and so has Muzz's a number of times today. So just go give them a follow. I've been Midge Man, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, all. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. bye.